Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Quizzlemania 36, nights one and two, exactly the right size for just one night. I'm your wonderful and humble host of the show, Adam Blompy. I'm, not, I'm joined by not one, not six, but five special guests filming live from their studio apartments, jostling to see occasionally who knows the most about wrestling, but mostly who's prepared to make the biggest tip of themselves. Without further ado, let's meet those players. First off, it's Evil Tempest. <laughs> Hello, Tempest. You're a bastard Hello. now, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really it's going really well being being a prick. You know, I'm really enjoying it. Thank you for noticing. Um this it's is what it's fun. all about though, in it. This is what it's all about. In it. In, in it. it, yeah. In in is, in it. This is the fault of all of you. This is that's oh, that's, you that's unironic. That's unironic. <laughs> I have started adopting British slang, and it's because of all of you. But this we'll is what this you. is all about. I turned mm. heel so I could get another shot at this title because I'm the greatest Quizzlemania champion of all time. And when I win my championship back, I'm going to celebrate with the official snack of Low Angibles. No, it's a combination no. that shouldn't work. But it does. That's right. A lovely peanut butter and pickle sandwich. The greatest oh. sandwich that no one has ever disliked if you try it. Oh, my. Oh, oh, I. Oh, no, no, no. No, I hate that. I hate that quite a lot. Uh, next up, <laughs> she's she's back and she's verified now. It's Denise the Hammer Salcedo. Hi, What's Denise. Up? So welcome to the, the the Blue Tick Club. How's it feeling? It feels pretty okay. I feel exactly the same. And I'm also kind of mad at Twitter for taking a long time to finally <laughs> verify me. You got what you wanted, Denise. Why are you still upset? Because it took forever. Oh, I see. And now everyone's going to pay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good today. I feel like nobody should be rooting for me, though, whatsoever. And based, you know what? I am a little upset at the Quizlemania community because I've been seeing what's been being said on Twitter. I've been being tagged and everything. And absolutely nobody is rooting for me anymore. And I'm very sad about that. My feelings are hurt. And also, I'm tired of Sully getting all the attention. <laughs> Look, hey, he's supposed to be your best friend. Look, I'm just going to add Sully now. Look, Sully's your best friend. Come he's on. He's too loved. He's too loved. I can't handle it. I can't handle him. No. <laughs> oh, we've become frenemies. It's horrible. Oh, best dear. Well, frenemies. I'm going to remove Denise. I'll add you. Hi, Sully. It's good to see you again, old friend. Hello. It's good to see you too, loyal friend. Someone who doesn't just <laughs> abandon me because people like me on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you for sticking by me through the tough times. You're welcome. Oh. You've always got a friend in me, buddy. You're looking sunburnt as shit. What's going on, Sully? I don't know. I go out in the sun and it always just hurts my skin and I never learn the lesson. I never learn the lesson. I never think, well, maybe today I won't be in the sun because it doesn't like my skin. Oh, dear. Look at me. I'm all red. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, everyone seems to be cutting promos today. So I do want to give you the floor because obviously last time you were on Quizomania, a very, a very special and very stupid thing almost happened. Uh, mm. You were one point, one point away from dethroning uh, Sean Rossap, one of the most learned men in wrestling trivia history. Um, is that going to happen again this week? Have you been boning up? I'll tell you what. It's not, but what's going to happen is it's going to be uh, it's going to be a wild ride. It's going to be points. It's going to be thrown around, and some of them might be coming my way. Uh, all I care about is not finishing last and defeating the now evil Denise Sado. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Sully. Enjoy the show. A lot of silliness, uh, and now. We do have a very, very, very uh, special guest joining us. Uh, you will know him, of course, from AEW and also perhaps from the Art of Wrestling podcast or perhaps a different podcast, which we'll be talking into in just a moment. Please welcome, boom, boom, Colt Cabana is on Quizzlemania. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I have some, I guess, bad news or I have bad wrestling psychology for you. Oh, no. Because usually the baby faces shouldn't love what the heels love. But I grew up on peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. No, no, Colt, no. You were the chosen one. I'm so sorry. But when he, 
I was like, oh, what's he going to have? And then had that beautiful peanut butter and pickle sandwich, <laughs> which looks so delicious. What? No. It's so good. Sorry, for you, peanut butter and gherkin there. You happy? Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you for speaking my language. I'm devastated oh, that you I rec- I, rec- I couldn't recommend it more. I grew up on them. I have them to this day. Delicious. So, what? so I, I know what peanut butter, how does it, what do I they don't know. taste? It just works. It just, no one thought Cole Cabana and the Dark Order was going to be a thing, but it just works. It just works. It, it just, just works. Are you the pickles or the peanut butter? I'm the pickles of the Dark Order. <laughs> Uh, so uh, you're, you've started a brand new podcast, uh, Wrestling Anonymous. Uh, tell us, tell us about it. Uh, obviously, we put links to uh, subscribe on uh, Spotify and Amazon, not Amazon, Apple. Uh, Apple, of course, in the yeah. links of the description below. But of course, you can find it whenever you uh, find your podcast. Sorry, please. Do yeah, no, please do, do the plug in for me, so I, I don't have to. But yeah, um, I'm back in the podcast game. Of course, I did the Art of Wrestling since June of 2010, and then kind of. I don't know, slowed it down somewhere in between 2018 and 19. And just the idea of weekly podcasts uh, seemed like a lot of burden for me. Um, So I took some time off and I'm back with a a totally new concept. I think in 2010, no one was really doing the concept of wrestlers talking to different wrestlers live and in person, like a locker room chat. And now that is um, kind of taken over the podcast world. So uh, I have a, a new thing where I'm taking calls from wrestling fans anonymously about any kind of stories they want to tell that they've told people throughout the world and have nowhere to put it. I'm the, I'm the, the curator for your stories. And so there's a lot of very funny ones. There's a lot of weird ones. There's a lot of fun ones. Um, and there's a lot of, there is some sad ones too. So it's kind of the whole spectrum of your stories uh, about anything about wrestling. And I'm again, I'm the curator. So I kind of play the, I play the story and then I kind of talk about it a little bit. Then we play another one. I guess it's not a story. It's your voice voicemails and you can call in. And um, it's been a lot of fun. I've had a lot of uh, some of my favorite calls already are this kid and this 10 year old kid putting up a ring by himself um, by and, himself? The, and the promoter going here, put up the ring and uh, him not knowing how to do it, so just putting up the ring, and then the wrestlers wrestling in it, and then oh wow, and then uh, one of the wrestlers gave him a free T-shirt for doing it, uh, and there was also a uh, another wrestler who brought his one-year-old child to the show, and Haku couldn't stop playing with the kid, and was like wouldn't give him back to his dad, and then well, <laughs> and then whispered to the child that he was going to train him one day. He can live with Haku. Haku would train him to be a wrestler. Hey, if if ha- yeah, yeah, that's Haku's kid now. I'm I'm sorry, but that's just how that works. Yeah, put him in the New Japan Dojo and let him get to work. <laughs> that sounds amazing. So yeah, um, um wh- where can people find it? Is it it's everywhere? Yeah, just podcast? wherever you get podcasts. It's called Wrestling Anonymous. And if you you can call in, you can call in. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And it's also kind of like an evergreen show. Like I would love for you to listen every week, but if it's something where you're like, ah, I need something to fall asleep to. This is probably the show for you. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'm going to let you go and we'll be our, our last guest, the champ, uh, in. But before you go, uh, I. Oh. <laughs> no, no, please. Well, well, yeah, we're all cutting promos I'm, today. Yeah, I'm coming for that championship. So, yeah, of course. Um, but um, there is a question that I ask everyone who appears on the show, which is what is your favorite fast food franchise? Uh, peanut butter and pickles. <laughs> No, no, I reject. I reject it. <laughs> I'm so upset. Oh, I'm never going to hear the end of it from Tempest. Right, let's bring in Sean Ross Sapp. Uh, here he is. Hi, Sean. You've hey. been on loads of Quizomanias now. <laughs> yeah, I have. So, I mean, I think Colt Cabana just turned heel. Oh. It was like a Mount Rushmore of baby faces. So, what we're going to do is what wrestling always does. We're going to turn a super over heel, me, baby face now. I've got to help the balance now that Colt Cabana is a pickle loving son of a bitch. So <laughs> here's how we're going to. There's a new merch. Let's get it going, guys. Come on. We can do this. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Get, getting a chant I'm going. Are you... I'm going to. It's not just for me. I'm not just going to win this for me. I'm going to win it for, for all of you. Yeah, for sure. All of you. This baby face fire. I love to see it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sean, Sean, you should absolutely be a heel, right? Because you're a record-breaking champion at this point. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm Bruno. <laughs> you are. You've held the Quizomania Bruno championship. Bruno did this all for... the time. Bruno did this all the time. And then I'm going to bear hug everybody until they pass out. Well, That's I love what it. I'm going to do. 
I love it. Um, but I do want to. I do want to talk stats for just a second, if that's okay. all right, Sean. Yeah. I know that you've got this baby face fire going. No, I do appreciate that. Yeah, I I, do. We've got to. We've got to address the the significance in the room, which is that you are the longest cumulatively reigning Quizomania champion yes. of all time. Love long combs. That's me. So are you just going to throw it tonight then? <laughs> just so you can I mean, have I we... consider it like you, you have no idea how relieved I was that you all did a tag team Quizlemania last time. I was you like, are welcome. To, I was like, I'm about to head to Jacksonville. I'm not used to traveling again. And I saw, I was like, oh my God, I got the week off. It's like, all right. Was was kind of hopeful you all would run it back this week, but here we are. No, no, we're back. Uh, I do. I do just want to bring Denise on uh, just very quickly, Denise. Sorry, but. Uh, what I so do? You didn't do nothing. It's just, I just want to talk about the fact that you guys met in person yeah. for the first time at Double or Nothing. Look, That's look, pretty cool. But, but just like in real life, look how much bigger her head is than mine. <laughs> look at that big ass head. Because my head is full of wondrous ideas. All right, Sean? <laughs> if only I'm it was. so jealous of my head. And you know what? Your head could be a whole lot bigger. It was a little weird seeing your very, very itty bitty oh, head on your head. body, okay? <laughs> yeah, I look Looked like uh, Tony Shalhoub when he gets shot in Men in Black. Like that's that's me. <laughs> but I mean, it, maybe it'd be bigger if you had some wrestling knowledge in there, Denise. All oh. right, all right, okay. That's quite enough of that. Save it, save it for the game. Right, we are going to jump into the game, folks. Uh, after a quick word from our sponsors, uh, we're sponsored by Surfshark today. Thank you to Surfshark for uh, helping us bring Quizlemania to you. If you're looking for a great deal on a great VPN, well, don't just take it from me. Take it from a different version an edited version of me hey thanks for watching this video if you're anything like us you don't want to be told that you can't watch certain tv just because of the country you live in make sure you maximize your entertainment options with a great vpn like surfshark at wrestle talk we all use surfshark pete uses it to watch japanese netflix because he's a massive weeb who just wants his senpai to notice him laurie uses it to watch the west wing on us netflix because he's the head of the martin sheen fan club luke is using it to watch all the dc movies coming straight to hbo this year he loves dc much better than marvel he says ask him about it at this is luke owen on twitter and ollie used it to thoroughly encrypt his browsing so no one in big tech finds out how often he buys lederhosen it's often no matter what you want to use it for surfshark offers secure access to servers in over 60 countries across the globe get surfshark vpn at surfshark.deals forward slash jam that jam enter promo code jam that jam for 83 percent off and three months for free make sure you use that link in code so surfshark knows that quizzlemania sent you again that's surfshark.deals forward slash jam that jam enter promo code jam that jam for 83% off and three months for free. Absolutely. Uh, so yes, uh, head to the top of the description there. You'll find a link that'll take you to a great deal on a great VPN, one that I use personally, swear by it. Uh, also, just below that link, you will find a link to where you can find Wrestling Anonymous. Please do check it out. It sounds like a fantastic podcast. Let's bring back our players, Denise, Sully, Tempest, Colt, oh. and, and the champ. So Here we good. go. Oh That's no! So oh. Fire me up, guys. Let, let's get going. Pass that to me, would you? I, listen, listen. Oh, I know that Tempest is about to throw everybody there in a go. sleeper hold and put everybody to sleep. But all we need is one of these. Don, you I, are the worst baby face ever. I, I hate it. Behind you. Yeah, the people are going to turn on you. All right, we're starting with the first round, which, as usual, is the price is shite. Uh, I am going to be showing you a bit of wrestling merch that I have found on eBay.com, uh, and you're going to tell me how much you think that's worth in dollars. You're going to write it down on a piece of paper, show it to the camera when I call your name. Uh, price is right rules, so closest without going over will get five points. And that's all there is to it. There's going to be five of these. So that's a possible total of 25 points. First up on the docket, how much is this Colt Cabana Rising Stars <laughs> of Wrestling action figure? Which does look quite a lot like Morrissey now that I'm looking at it up close. <laughs> but that is the Colt Cabana Rising Stars of Wrestling action figure. Um, quick few things to say. First of all, it is boxed but it's not signed. So it's boxed, but not signed. Let me just grab that on screen again. How much do we think that is? Write your answers down while I read some ultra chats. Is this from uh, uh, eBay user Colt Boom Boom by chance? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, possibly. <laughs> I didn't check that bit. <laughs> it might have been listed. Um, 
no studios has donated ten dollars saying hope you all have a lovely day thanks for entertaining my evenings you're very welcome and thank you for your generosity kevin has said uh sean i was going to subscribe to fightful select during your last quiz or mania but then you stole the title from that sweet boy sully what a heel instead i'll be subscribing to sully's website delightfulselect.com <laughs> hashtag kiss movement hashtag kiss 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 hashtag oh hot dog uh, I'm, just, I'm just happy that you all even consider me. I'm just so happy to be here, you know? Aw, what a sock in it. I hate this bit. And <laughs> Virgil Nomodo has said, Quizomania doing their best 2016 to 17 SmackDown impression by giving us a fatal five way. If the fates allow, the final should be Matt Classic versus Tempest, Mask versus Mask. Possible debut of Saucer Bo Brown. Always happy to support Team WrestleTalk, Jam That Jam, and support each other. Right, so we're going to go uh, person by person to see what they've got. Let's start with uh, let's start with the champ, shall we? Let's start with the baby face, the white meat baby face, Sean Morissette. Those ain't cheap figures. The ones I've seen are roughly around this price, maybe a little bit more. Twenty nine ninety nine. All right, Tempest. I went slightly higher. I went for thirty three thirty three. Thirty three. Thirty three. Denise Salcedo. We're all so close. Thirty one. Thirty one dollars. Uh, Sullivan Brown. Twenty five dollars. <laughs> OK, slightly different, but he's, yeah, he's happy pretty, to be I mean, here. Rough ballpark. Yeah, I don't know how much things cost. I don't understand money. <laughs> and finally, Cole. Uh I've seen this for different prices, so I'm assuming the one <laughs> That I checked just the other day would be the one for thirty four ninety nine. Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah, it's thirty four ninety nine. Yes. <laughs> well done. Well there done. It is. Bang on the banana. <laughs> bang on the pickle. Ba oh, <laughs> bang on the pickle. Thirty four ninety nine. Five points to Colt. Colt is currently winning. Uh, next this, up. No, no, no. Not is this just. I mean, if it's just all going to be eBay prices of me, I'm going to do pretty well, I think. <laughs> You'll do well at some of these. He's logging sure. into his account right now to see what he set the prices at. <laughs> oh, I may have, oh, I may have made a terrible mistake. No, it's not. It's not all you, Colt. It's not These all you. These ring-worn yeah. uh, underpants. That when he, he <laughs> forgot his tights. He wore underpants. Twelve dollars. How Bender. much is this Tempest peanut butter and pickle sandwich? Yes. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, uh, cold. You've become such a baby face in my eyes. I've been a fan for a long time, but this, oh, oh this God. is a bond that'll never be broken. Look who you're allying yourself with. Next up, uh, this Darby Allen, one in 500 rare Ooh. action figure. Uh, only 500 of these made. It's a different uh, type to his other action figure for AEW. It's the unrivaled it's called collection. a chase variant, you fucking pleb. The chase variant, if you will. <laughs> If you will, uh, but the Darby Allen one, how much is that worth in dollars? Get to writing. I will uh, head on over to the Ultra Chats. Charles Berg says, now before I read this question, let me preface this by saying, and I mean me, Adam Blompier, Charles Berg asks the greatest questions. They cut deep to the heart of a person. That being said, Colt, are you ready? Charles Berg asks, how are you, Colt? All the big questions. Uh, well, depends if I get this answer right. Mm. Uh, Snake <laughs> I'll Twisted tell you in a second. <laughs> good point. Snake Twisted said, I was going to say how Hollywood Salsada was the only good content, but I genuinely love Tempest, Sully, and especially Colt Cabana. So I guess just screw SRS and Tennessee or Kentucky or Virginia or whatever flyover state you're from. It's it's literally in my background, <laughs> you goon. I like that. The flyover kid, we can call you. That's yeah, your big baby mm. face name. Ooh, and Human316 just says, in all caps, Hello, Sully. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Right, how much hello. for this uh, Chase variant action figure of Darby Allen? Uh, let's go the opposite direction this time. Let's start with Colt. Colt. Um, well, as a, co a consistent listener of the Major Wrestling Figure podcast, I now like know what these things are, and I'm going to say it's seventy nine ninety nine. Seventy nine ninety nine. dollars uh, Sullivan Bo Brown. I've gone low before. I'm going too low again. Forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine. Uh Denise Salcedo. Well, one eighteen. One eighteen. <laughs> she might Tem be wrong. Tempest. I think I may have massively overshot this. I went for seven forty nine ninety nine. Seven hundred and forty nine dollars <laughs> and ninety nine cents. I don't, Sean that. I don't, you I didn't, don't because collecting these is literally my only retirement plan. 
Uh, I looked these up probably a couple weeks ago, and this is the low end of it. I got seven seventy five. Some of these oh, are going God for sake. some of these are going for thousand dollars. Seven seventy five. The correct answer is seven hundred ninety nine ninety nine times yours by ten, Colton. You Wait, hold on, it. hold on. That's not what I put. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see that decimal place. I see that. Those uh, chase right. variants are selling like crazy. Yeah, the Jericho, uh, the Cody one costs you an even grand. Jericho's yep. around that. Uh, as well, that's five points for Sean Ross Sapp. Very nicely done. Uh, I didn't realize so upset me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize everyone was just going to be checking all of the things that are going to be on this quiz. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> I had no I, idea. That's I don't what, know how much anything is worth. I, I, I that's what, what a trivia quiz is. Are. I collect <laughs> AEW figures. <laughs> For the love of God. Unfortunately, <laughs> sorry, Colt. I don't collect Colt Cabana figures yet. Yet. I, well, I'm hoping that uh, Jeremy Padauer is watching this and is embarrassed that yeah. my only figure is this FTC figure and not an AEW figure. So hopefully go. that'll speed it up. Uh, next up on the docket, uh, it is a, I, I believe this is fan made, but I liked it so much I put it on here. It is a women's wrestling <laughs> champion of the world replica shirt, the kind used to be worn by the late great Andy Kaufman. Uh, you just buy this from eBay. How much do you buy it for? Uh, I don't believe it's officially ring worn. I think this is just a print at home job. Uh, not saying that to dissuade you from bidding high, but it's not Andy Kaufman's actual replica shirt. It's just one that's designed like it. Uh, heading on over to the Ultra Chats, Brett Storm says another quiz of Mania, another stellar lineup. My prediction is either Tempest or SRS will win, as they've won a lot, but until he wins at least one, I will want Sully to win. He's been a favorite of mine since the first quiz of Mania he was on. Oh, and uh, me, me too. He he's such a great competitor, a great <laughs> opponent. I'm blessed to Shut be up. competing <laughs> against Sully. This the Bo Dallas. This is the Bo Dallas baby face run. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Big Pip says, "Boom, boom! It's Sully Bo Brown. Just had my second vac shot today. Looking mm -hmm. forward to a lovely evening with you lot." Question for Mr. Cabana: uh, With your excellent work on Critical Botch, would you be interested in a game of Blood on the Clock Tower? Mm. Um, have you heard of the game Blood on the Clock Tower, Colt? I mean, I've barely heard of Critical Botch, and I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> you've played werewolf right because i believe you played werewolf live with one of my friends john yes i did it's Ooh. like that but everyone's got a crazy superpower it's a lot of fun if you like it's werewolf strong recommend oh, sign yeah. me up Ooh. uh right well let's see let's see uh denise you're you're kicking up a, a storm uh here's, here's here's the attention that you wanted how much thirteen dollars Thirteen dollars with a little nice face with a tongue poking out. Sullivan Bobram. Oh, I went for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, Tempest. I went for my standard T-shirt answer. That's twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. Sean or Sap. Print at home job. I think it's a thirteen dollar one as well. Thirteen dollars and Colt Cabana. Uh, it is. It is twenty four ninety nine. The officially licensed one at Pro Wrestling Tees, which the money does go to Andy Kaufman's family. That is the one that you should buy. Uh, <laughs> but for the print at home job, I said twelve dollars. Twelve dollars can confirm this costs exactly thirteen. Oh, <laughs> share points. You know what? <laughs> Normally, I'd be upset about this, but Denise is such a great friend and no, an even Sean. better opponent. No, no, no. I did Denise. not want this. none of this. No. God, would you just open up that barbershop window before I get thrown through it? How many points <laughs> do I get for this? You and Sean each get five points. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> I see you, Colt. I see you. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd be willing to share points with the great Colt Cabana. Oh, what, what more? The more the better. The more the better. Hey, Can I have points? No, That'd Sully. No point. No uh, points for any of you. I will get. I you. will squirt you at you like cats. Stop it. <laughs> right. Next up, <laughs> number four. How much for this? Scotty Goldman oh, WWE God. Power Chips. Excellent. Excellent. Now there's oh, two answers gosh. to this one. <laughs> Oh, God. priceless and oh, worthless no. <laughs> <laughs> um it is it is kept in this delightful little little case wow thing. yeah isn't that nice now that changes things that makes oh, me that? think that it's worth something <laughs> because it's in there <laughs> 
damn sure and say how you really feel. Uh, I mean, Storm not not because of him. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that thing is. Ah. Oh. Mm. Uh, Stormcloud27 says, good afternoon, oh. evening, everyone. First time donator here. Looking forward to another great episode of Quizzle Mania. Hoping Tempest walks away with the gold. L-I-W for life. And Steve Duggan says, Stephen Duggan says, hey, Colt, are you in a cult or do you just hang out with a bunch of hunky guys? I'm not sure. Just hunky guys. Yeah, some hunkalicious <laughs> boys. Uh, right. Uh, uh, so how much is this worth? Colt, let's start with you. It's got your face on it after all. Well, I mean, I've got a whole story behind it, but let's start with... It was originally $1,000, and then I kept on messaging him, and there was an or best offer, and my best offer kept on being $15, he would deny it. <laughs> and, then, and then I'd ask $14, then he would deny it. And then $13, and then he would deny it. And then finally we had a little conversation, and he was just like, it's not worth much, but I'm trying to get as much as I can off in the offshoot that maybe somebody will give me a lot of money to it. And then later that week, I saw he put it down to 700 asking or best offer. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Tempest. I mean, I don't know if the rest of us really need to guess at this point, uh, <laughs> but I originally was going for 600 and then I realized I was a fool and went for 599.99 because you got to go for the 99 cents. Absolutely. Sean Rossap. I'm sorry, Colt. I put six <laughs> bucks. <laughs> Damn. I wrote, Damn. That I wrote that before I saw the case, but uh, even then, all Couldn't due respect, I wasn't adding any more zeros to that. <laughs> uh, Sully. I've gone for two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, and Denise. I'm sorry, I had no idea, so I went with forty-eight. Forty-eight. <laughs> it is, of course, seven hundred. Bang on the banana. Very, very Amazing. good. Amazing. And so that's another five points for Colt Cabana. And finally, how much for these Ric Flair oh. sneakers? Oh, <laughs> I believe Christ. they are. Yes. Look, look at that. Look at them. There they are. Those are, are these, awesome. uh, is this the price sold by Adidas or is this a resale market? Uh, or... This is eBay. It's all eBay. eBay so wait, are com. those, are those, do you know if they're knockoffs? Like I know they're, they're Dame Lillard's, but I, cause I can see that on, on the shoe, but are like they knockoffs? Are they real? <laughs> um, I I didn't do that much digging, Sean. Mm. I've got to be honest with you. I found them on eBay. So what do you think? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? Fair. Uh, Creepy Otaki says, another much needed quiz on Mania. The last fortnight has been an absolute American nightmare, no pun intended. But now I get to have fun with the gang. And even Sully's here. Damn it. I love parts fun known. Jam that jam. Hashtag Quizzlemania. And the Creepy Otaki says, also Tempest, I'm confident you could win this, but if you come in second place tonight, then you have to say three nice things about Dexter Loomis and actually mean it. High <laughs> what stakes. a bet. What uh, a bet. All right. So uh, let's see how much these are. Uh, Denise, you wear oh, shoes. How much okay. are these? 330. 330. Sullivan Brown. For me, they're priceless, so I've gone for $4,000. <laughs> <laughs> You're just here to have fun. Uh, Sean Rossap. Going low end. I went with 105. 105. Tempest. I tried to go low end. I went for 99.99. 99.99. Cole Cabana. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if in doubt, shoot for the moon. They are $108. Whoa! Dollars, Sean. I thought I'd be. The, I thought I'd be the lowest, lowest person to guess too. But uh, yeah, uh, very well played. So after that round, can confirm the following scores are in first. No, in let's go in last place. Last place <laughs> with zero points. It's Tempest and Sully. Equal hey. wrestling trivia knowledge, provable Absolutely. in fact. Both great guys, by the way. Uh, in third place, it's Denise with five points. Hell yeah, podium finish, Denise. Thank you. In second place with 10 points, it's Colt Cabana. And in first place with 15, it's Sean Rossap, your defending champion. It's an honor. I hate you so much. But uh, next up, you were warned about this round, Colt. Here they are. Oh, Whose yes. nips are yes. these? Fantastic. I am going to show you some wrestlers' nipples. You have to tell me who the wrestler is. 
simple as that. Uh, it's three points uh, per correct answer. There's going to be five questions in this round, so that's a possible total of 15 points, which is enough to bring you up to first place, Tempest, if you get them all right. Good luck, friend. If, if Sean gets them all wrong. I mean, Sean, <laughs> nipples are his Listen. Achilles heel, or yes. his Achilles mm, nipple, I they guess. Are. Mm. <laughs> hey. It's three points per nip, is that right? Uh, it's three points per correct guessing of the nipples. Because um, otherwise, if you say three points per nip, that's six points mm, per person. Six, yeah. He's got to clarify that. Well, Unless even person... more if they've got a third nipple. Right. Who knows? Yeah. Glad been, that indeed. you clarified that, Adam. Good job, as always. Great host. Mm. Great host. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. I appreciate that. I hope you strip and skin your knee. All right. So first up, <laughs> whose nips are these? Oh, God. <laughs> whose nips are those? Um, Lucas Savella says, welcome, Colt. Question for the NRB crew. Do you have favorite board game designers? My favorites are Wolfgang Varsh, Wavelength in the Mind, and Phil Walker, Harding Sushi Go. Their designs are so approachable. I think even Denise would enjoy them. Even Denise. Enjoy what? Board games, Denise. Oh, no. we're talking. I only play Scrabble and Monopoly and Candy. Oh. And Candyland. God damn it. Um, I really like Wolfgang Barsh. He's a fantastic one. Um, Bruno Fiduti is really, really good. Um, Prospero Hall are a our designing team, you, but they're people fantastic. People know these people? Yeah. Yeah, Cole, they do. <laughs> I know these people. Wow. Anyway. You bought you a big board game fan card. <laughs> uh, I like uh, Don't Break the Ice and Topple. Is that the one with the little penguins on top of the thing? You got to hit it with a hammer. Mm -hmm. Or am I thinking of a different thing? And there's like cubes and you got to knock them down, but they got to stay up. Oh, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. All right. So whose nips are these? Let's start with Denise. Whose nips are these? I'm praying that these nipples belong to Daniel Bryan. <laughs> oh, get I... the nipples out. I'll get the, I'll get the nipples <laughs> out of your face. I'm sorry. Daniel Bryan's nipples. Uh, <laughs> Tempest, are they Daniel Bryan's nipples? I don't think so. I think they belong to Johnny Hungy. John Johnny Hungy. Mm. Uh, Sean Rossap. I got Daniel Bryan as well. Daniel Bryan Sullivan. I'm strong and wrong. It's MJF. <laughs> MJF. And the same. Colt. <laughs> Matt Hardy. Ooh. Oh, one. interesting. Right shout. Raising I, his hands, I feel. I can confirm that these are the nipples of one. John Ooh. Silver. Well done. Oh man. Well done. I, I'm just saying. I would. I would assume the photographer would have uploaded this in higher quality these days. Like, he it looks threw me great. off. That's he a good great. shout. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, Cole, I feel like I should ask you: Who can eat more Arby's roast beef sandwiches without the bun? Luke Gallows or John Silver? That's. I mean, John John Silver is hungry, but you know the answer is Gallows. It's always Gallows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A terrifying spectacle. Next up, whose nips are these? Whose well, nips very... are those? Man, I'm not as good as nips as I thought I was. <laughs> they're very close together, aren't they? <laughs> you <laughs> their spent... eyes too close together. You've spent the last year with John Silver, and you and don't I, even know. I couldn't his even nips. make them out. Yeah, <laughs> you've seen those things on a weekly basis. I feel like D I know these. DJ. <laughs> I know those nipples Wait, can you anyway. keep them up while there's answers? I, I still need to stare at them for a while. Oh, for sure. I'm going to read some ultra chat. So you, <laughs> yeah. you you gaze directly at those nipples, Cole, and see if they speak to you. Uh, DJ, but not a DJ, says, man, it is a hot quizzle mania. I'd say it needs a temp test, but he's already here. Lovely to see Miss Hammer, Mr. Cliffbeard, Professor Chaos, Mr. Boom Boom, and Mr. Fuck Fuck. Hope you all enjoy yourself. Uh, they real... They real Sid. Oh, hashtag, oh, hot dog. The championship is coming home. Uh, Mike Wright says, good luck to everyone tonight. Letting everyone know uh, to check out Sean's interview with uh, Jodie Threat. I've been watching her oh. kick ass in Barry wrestling the last few years. And the reason why I'm a fan of intergender wrestling. Out fuck everyone, SRS. Jodie Threat is rad. She'll If she's not signed by next year, I'd be shocked. Indeed. Fantastic. Shout out to Toronto, one of our one of our best indie wrestlers. It's where I saw her at. I saw her at the uh, SummerSlam weekend. I walk in and she's doing a delayed vertical suplex. I think to Ethan Page of all people. That was Ooh. big boy Ethan Page too, not like <laughs> TNT superstar Ethan Page. Like he was 
it was that was a spectacle all right let's talk about nips whose are these i'm going to take them away now just so we get some answers so let's talk to sully first sully whose nips are those i'm probably wrong again but the great kali Ooh, i thought that too maybe mm. denise i thought the great kali too great <laughs> kali uh tempest <laughs> I had no idea, so I'm just going to say maybe this is the one where you found a weird picture of Colt. Colt. <laughs> uh, Sean Rossap. Turley from The Longest Yard. Turley <laughs> from The Longest Yard. And Colt Cabana. Uh, I, okay, I did some science on it. I was thinking he seemed a little thicker, so I, I'm going to go with – I don't remember his name. <laughs> this is <old> <laughs> Tucker, Tucker, no. Tucker, Tucker yeah. there it is. There he is. Uh, all right, uh, let's see those nips. Those nips did, in fact, belong to Matt Classic, otherwise oh, known no. as Gold <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> well, why wow. are you this close together, man? What's Wait, going from, on there? From what not I understand. Me. <laughs> not me. That from ain't what I understand, me. Matt oh, no, Classic sorry, sorry. and Colt Cabana are not the same person. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. I got sorry, confused. Sorry. I got confused. I've spent sorry. so much time with Matt, though, I can't believe... I do, I do know my thick boys, though, don't I? <laughs> I know a thick boy when I see one. Uh, very good, Tempest. Tempest currently got them all right so far. That was a, that was my little cheeky one that I include in every nipple round. Uh, so far, you are you are catching up. So next up, whose nips are these? Oh yeah, oh. some good HD 4K nips. Mm. Oh. Yes, about time. We're finally oh. back to the high res PNG nipple. Yes. Uh, those render nips you see a little shaving there i swear mm. these are not the nipples that i think that they are i'm gonna be so mad <laughs> oh wow denise is staking something personal on these nipples uh tom from shrewsbury says hi guys not sure if this is your type of game but if any of you ever played twilight struggle oh, lots of board game questions this week i'm a super fan it's a two-player strategy board game set in cold war it was number one ranked on bgg for many years jam that jam get on board i've heard of it never played it uh, i want to play it uh i i I, I kind of the BGG top 100. They're like I'm no, I'm enough of a board game fan to know they're not all for me. Uh, Twilight Struggle looks good. I just I wasn't, I haven't played it yet, but I will at some point. And finally, Arthur from Natural Nine says, "Happy to ultra chat for the first quiz or mania. I'm watching from my new home. Oh, congratulations, Tempest! Stop trying to make Liw happen, Denise. I'm still Team Pizza Ranch. Sully, you're Woo! a beautiful man. Never change. And for the Dong Lord, out fuck." everyone hashtag ftf hashtag jam that jam how about next time instead of sending an ultra chat to try and badmouth me you go and be one of the lovely people to buy an liw shirt from wrestleshop.com they're selling i cannot i cannot believe you would come on quizlemania to try and hawk one of your personal projects tempest that is not the way we do things here anyway no uh, not at Cabana. all meanwhile uh, <laughs> Who's subscribe to those? <laughs> Uh, Ethan Page, uh, TNT version, not big boy. <laughs> Tempest. Ah, uh, yes, I believe I know those nipples. I went with Andrade Cien Almas El Idolo. Andrade, uh, Sean Rossap. Um, I got Garza, Garza, Sally. Uh, again, I'm wrong, Mr. Farley, Mr. Farley, and yeah. Denise. I went with Umberto. And you're pretty sure you know these nipples? I don't feel like I do anymore. I <laughs> don't feel like you do anymore. Can confirm these nipples belong to Andrade El Idolo. Oh my god. This is this something of a hot streak. He knows He's... nips. He has just been Googling <laughs> renders all week long. He's just, <laughs> He's just been looking at nips. <laughs> Just put like the magnifying red, glass out. <laughs> red string between different things. <laughs> you know, the one time together. I studied nipples, you didn't even include that round on the show. I was so pissed. At least you so had a fun week, up, though. And I Vince. never studied nipples ever again. Oh, I'm so, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry that you've been burned on nipples. To be fair, I've been studying them for decades, and I'm still shit at this round. <laughs> I used to teach a course on it. <laughs> <laughs> whose nips are these oh, oh. <laughs> yeah whose nips are oh, those come on 
Uh, Sadie6969 Deegan says, well, if it isn't the hottest dudes in the IWC, welcome Colt to our weird bi-weekly affair. I've been loving wrestling anonymous. I've been loving wrestling anonymous. Hey. It's the best. Uh, Tempest, Tempest, he's our man. If he can't do it, Sean probably will. He's the King Dong Lord after all. Yep. And Matty Maitai says, God damn, this Quizlemania is stacked. Wrestle Talk, Fightful, LIW, NRB, and AEW all in one room. But props to Adam Sheer Balls and booking Scotty Jenkins versus Johnny Bollocks. This is the greatest crossover anime of all time. <laughs> Hashtag kill Johnny Bollocks. <laughs> kill. Lovely stuff. All right. So whose nips are these? Tempest, I'm going to save you for last because you're currently, yes, on a hot streak. Ice those nipples. Um, Denise, redeem yourself. Oh, come on. You did me dirty. I have question marks. Question marks. I, I can come back to you if no, you'd like some more time. No, I can't answer right now. Okay, come back to me. I'll come back to you. Uh, I'm not coming back to you before Tempest, though. Uh, <laughs> Solomon, who's, who snips with those? I'm in exactly the same boat as Denise. I've never seen nipples like these before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're lovely. They're very nice, but I've never seen them like this before. <laughs> not on a wrestler. Then you no. don't have an answer for me, Sully? My answer is I refuse to answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can we steal Temp Tempest's answer? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. No. That, no cheating. No cribbing off your... Come on. Off... What if he's no. yes. I'm, Technically, I'm gambling. He could be wrong. That's yep. true. Sean, whose nips are these? <laughs> Got Evil Uno. Evil Uno. Colt, whose nips are those? Oh, I could smell those nipples all the way in Chicago. Edward Ooh. Kingston oh. and Tempest. It's not who I who I had. I had one of Colt Cabana's greatest rivals, Toriano. Toriano. All right. So that is that. I'm not going to go back to. Actually, you saw it. There's been a difference of opinion. Denise, who do you think these are? Uh, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Toriano then. <laughs> I'll steal your answer. <laughs> and Sully. <laughs> Same for me, please. Thank you. <laughs> well done to Tempest, <laughs> Sully, and Denise. Wow. They are indeed Toriyano. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know what's funny? No. I, keep just thought I really was going to say Toriyano in the beginning, but I decided not to. Legit. No one believes you, Denise. <laughs> I know. I know. That's why I wasn't going to say anything. I just hate myself for it. I stared, at, I stared at his nipples every night in those tag team tournaments. <laughs> go, go with your gut okay all right go with, tempest tempest gut. <laughs> go with tempest gut yeah or just slightly above the gut uh finally whose nips are these oh who's whose nips are those corn man 316 says colt cabana on quizzlemania and sully i couldn't not chip in much love to you all yes colt this is corn man from your twitch chat i'll be back to defeat you in among us one day never soon. never uh, Matt T. Maitai says, question for Cole, what are some of your favorite memories in your wrestling career and what dream opponents do you have in AEW? Uh, oh, one of my favorite moments is coming over to uh, Manchester and wrestling Johnny Saint at, I think he was 68 years old at the time. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was amazing that. in front of a thousand people. Uh, and then who do I want to wrestle? Uh, Kenny Omega, of course. Of course, but and I want to wrestle. I want to wrestle Kenny Omega wrestling a six-year-old girl DDT version. Kenny Omega, <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell yeah! Um, and question for Sully: Can you do a full one-minute impression of Johnny Bollocks? You making this character invested me in NRB. You don't have to do the full minute, <laughs> Sully. Well, I'll tell you about Johnny Bollocks. He's one of my favorite fucking characters. He comes from Newcastle, and you know what? You're going to see a lot more of him soon. I promise you that. Oh, he's absolutely full of fucking shit. Oh, the Geordies, they love me. They love me they, up there. They must do. Right, whose nips are those? Uh, Johnny Bollocks, whose nips are those? I've gone for, and I may have got his name wrong, Orlando Jordan, you know, the fellow who hung up with G JBL all those years ago. <laughs> that bloke. That bloke. Denise. I went with Cedric. Cedric. Tempest. Well, I do watch the show, even if I'm not on it. So I didn't go for one of the ones I know we've done on recent weeks. I went Scorpio Sky, maybe? Scorpio Sky. Sean Rossap. Sorry. Uh, pro wrestling promoter Eric Bischoff was calling me on the phone, and I had to tend to it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Scorpio Sky. Scorpio Sky and Colt. Uh, Tempest went Scorpio Sky question mark. I went Scorpio Sky exclamation point. Scorpio Ooh. Sky exclamation point. Extra points there. 
<laughs> it is indeed Scorpio. Oh, well done. You know, Die. just the other day in the locker room, I I was like staring at his nipples because I was like, <laughs> like there was something about him. So this really helped me out. I feel like Tempest should get one point. I should get two and Colt should get three for the different levels of question mark. Just True. maybe want- and then emphatic. I knew it. Scorpio Sky. I knew it. So the scores after that round are as follows. In last place, Who could with three points, it's Sully Bo Brown. Yeah, come on. In, huh? in fourth place with eight, it's Denise Salcedo. There she is. Um, in third place with 13 points, it's Cole Cabana. In second place with 15 points, it's Tempest. Made a roaring comeback, but still in first place, just with 18 points, it's Sean Ross Sap. You can hear more of me on Eric Bischoff's radio show tonight, too, apparently. Ooh, so. exciting. Uh, next no, up, a couple, like just a couple baby track. faces, just a no couple baby faces hanging off. out. I wish I could mute Denise like I do on No Mondays. one likes a show off. <laughs> Come on, you two, get it together. Uh, right, next up, we are going to what's the name of the round? It is called I put it. What an artist collective. There we no. are. Oh no. We haven't done this in a while. <laughs> oh, uh, so this is hard. So dictionary. Uh, so I'm right. get, I've got a, a thing for each of you to draw. Uh, everyone else is gonna close their eyes and then I'm going to uh, send you the thing to draw. Uh, and then you draw it. You've got 30 seconds to do so. A mere 30 seconds. And as with Pictionary, you can't do numbers, can't do words. Uh, Then everyone else will have a buzzer. Their buzzer is them saying their own name out loud. Please test your buzzers in three, two, one. Denise. Thanks, Dallas. So um, if you (laughs) chime in and get the right answer, that is three points for you. But it's also three points for the person who drew it. If you guess incorrectly, you can't guess again for that question. Uh, And if no one gets it, no one gets any points. Simple as that. Any questions before we start? Is it always just a person or could it be a scenario or something? It is either a person or a wrestling moment from history or a scenario or a tag team. can be anything. I'll be fairly lenient when it comes to the right answer, but you'll pretty much know. Uh, Right. So first up, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Then let's go in order from lowest to highest. Sully, you're up first. Uh, Right. Can everyone please... You're you're sending it to people. You're sending it to them, right? Like, you're not going to put it up on the screen. You want me to DM it to people? You yeah, don't why people not? To not peek? Why not? Sure. I don't. I don't think anybody Movie's on this playing. show. I don't think anybody on this show would cheat. But I just think it'd be. I think it's better that way. All right, fine, Sully. Yeah, I I will send you a Twitter DM with the right. right. With yes, the because answer. long time last place winning Denise is cheating on Quizlemania. I don't think anybody <laughs> here is cheating. I I <laughs> think it would make it more fun for the viewing right. audience too. Are you DMing long... us on Twitter then, or where? A uh, DM. Going to DM you on Twitter. Yes. Oh, okay. This Do you also want running... me to send oh. mine to Eric Bischoff, who just called me on the phone? Please. I mean, oh. does Eric want... No. Be serious. <laughs> um, this is... Yeah, this long tight reign's corrupting you, Sean. You're seeing shadows everywhere. Black helicopters, mm. as JBL would once say. Uh, right, Sully, that's sent to you. Have you seen it? Just wait till I uh, come on here yes. with a with a crown and a motorcycle talking about how many weeks in a row I've won Quizzlemania. It's an Eric right. Bischoff joke. Uh Sully, you're 30. I'm going to read some multiple traps while you draw, but you're 30 seconds on the clock starts now. Uh, Matty Maitai says, last ultra chat, I promise. If SRS is still champ by the end of this Quizzle Mania, he needs to enter the Denim Matrix. Dong Lord versus Lolo Brow would be incredible. Watch CBW on Parts of Unknown. For all those who haven't, Lolo is a riot. Dong Lord versus Denim Matrix. Book it, Adam. Mel Angel, 60, uh, 666, says, Team Sully. Also, and... Uh, also, as always, trans lives matters, and also join the dark order. Uh, Van Twinblade says, if Denise can get five points, she wins. Also, Cult owes MJF child support money for being an absentee father. Stop drawing, Sully. Okay. All right. So, um, is everyone ready? Fingers on their buzzers. Yes. All right, Sully, show me your masterpiece. Here it is. Colt, Sean. <laughs> Sean, I had Sean. Wait, Colt, you were Colt. Oh, sorry, it was Colt. Colt. It was Colt. 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 
Unreal. Agent Christian, five second pose. That is incorrect. Oh, that's a good guess. Do, mm. do I have anyone else who wants to? Oh, buzz in? oh Tempest, 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 Tempest. That's zombies. That's the zombies at, at the pay per view. That is the backlash zombies. That is absolutely yes. Yes. correct. He has X's Look on his him. eyes. I mean, I thought he's I, dead. I thought I was after Colt, but it's no big deal. It's okay. You know what? <laughs> I, I appreciate it. You can buzz in again. You need to buzz in again. Okay, it's okay. No big deal. No big deal. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a big deal. All right, next up <laughs> in fourth place, that would be Denise. Denise, this is for yep, you to I'm draw. waiting for the DM. I'm here. I'm waiting. Uh, oh, all right. You'll wait a bit longer. Wow. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Denise, I've been waiting a while to have a show like this so I can say this to you. I, tr I tried pizza with ranch sauce. Uh-huh. That shit is not good. Okay, I can accept <laughs> yeah. this from anybody else, but you like peanut butter and pickle sandwich, so your taste buds are rendered <laughs> unimportant now. Well, we're, 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 we might be in the minority here, Denise. <sighs> like, I, they're, they're popping out of the woodwork now, these people who like this abomination concoction. Without Slime. going into a whole song and dance, <laughs> every single person that I have told to try this sandwich has said that they've greatly enjoyed it. Luke, Louie, Colt Cabana now... I've had dozens of people send me pictures of their sandwiches on Twitter. This is a movement. Try the peanut butter and pickle sandwich. Send me the evidence. You will love it. I promise you. Is it smooth or crunchy peanut butter? I'm like 30 seconds smooth. starting. So you're, you're 30 seconds. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought. I, okay, yes. Well, just, there you now. go. <laughs> also, you Denise, tempest me wrong. to eat a peanut butter and pickle sandwich. I've been eating it forever. Yeah, yeah. Tempest. This is Colt's movement. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't uh, believe that this is a thing. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's wrong. It's wrong. I'm so sorry about this drawing. I mean, as, <laughs> as Brits, I don't know if we have kind of culinary rocks to throw in this fight. We've we've eaten some stupid shit. But yeah. I, I like I'm so, Colt. Okay, stop drawing Denise. But Damn Colt, it. what is your opinion on ranch dressing on pizza? Ranch well, sauce on pizza. I mean, as a pro wrestler, it's something I can't necessarily eat all the time, but I I would dip my crust in ranch dressing all the time. Sure, why not? Yeah. Well, no, 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 Denise. Hey, don't I claim that. Out. Would you dip the main body of the pizza? I, I, I wouldn't, but I, I'm not going to sit here and say it's gross. Thank you. Okay. I well, respect that. Very, very noble. Mm. Okay, Denise. I'm ready for this one. Here we go. Yeah. Easy points here. Cool. Cool. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, I should I have to go with no, no, I, I have right. told the I'm I'll go with my first buzzer. one, which isn't the right one, but I was going to say the Young Bucks. Sean. That is not the Young Bucks. Sean. Uh, is this Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan? Yes, it is. <laughs> the Ultimate Warrior versus Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Look at their muscles. <laughs> yeah. I panicked, okay? I didn't have time to kill you to find them, and I forgot to put Hulk like, in his leg. Hey, like, a little, hey. a little... A little tip from not an artist. Maybe do the face paint on Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> you know? okay? I was hey, focusing on the streamer. Shenanigans. The, the tassels. The tassels. I, yeah, I, I think that was yeah. tassels, yeah. The, it, I, you and I both know that the Ultimate Warrior took far too much cocaine to have that smiley face. <laughs> now, look at that. Look at that. There's no <laughs> way that either of these people have this smiley face at any point in their career. Also, check. Fact check. No she letters. H. No letters. Cheating. No letters. I'm nah, with that's you. true. That is I true. See that. Luke, Sean, can you tell? I, I that's why I knew it wasn't. That's why I knew it wasn't the Young Bucks because of the H H. Mm. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was D X because I thought that was Triple H and she just didn't. I just the last I saw the tassels. <laughs> Also, well, kudos to you for not drawing one of the most recognizable things. About I ran out of time. He didn't even get to get legs. <laughs> <laughs> you spent so much time on those muscles. Look at those muscles. It's oh. horrible. You wouldn't go to the gym if muscles developed like that. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't work out. His, his oh. wrist muscles are huge. Warrior's <laughs> tiny little baby legs. Hulk Hogan looks like a, like a cactus. <laughs> it's not I, mean, I did the hair though. Have you noticed the, the hair? It looks like like Hogan is atrophied in his right arm. Where is his right arm? 
Yeah, I ran that? out of space. I did Ultimate Warrior's muscles first, and I didn't have space for Hogan. <laughs> Man, I hate it. Man, I hate it's it. So good. I love it. I love it. All right. Okay. So points, I guess. Yeah, we're all having fun. All uh, right. Who's next in the order? It's Colt Cabana. Let me just I got send... my DMs there. All right. Let me just send you a DM. Colt Cabana. They're open. Don't tell anyone. Luke Gallows taught me always keep your DMs open. You might be getting booking requests. Uh, there the you scoops. go. Let me just copy and paste this from my script. Boop, boop, boop. Into my Twitter DMs? Yep. Just the, the thing you're to be drawing now. Oh, that's sent. Okay. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Can uh, I get a, I'm going to get a full piece of paper here. Absolutely. Do yourself proud. All right. Let me know um, when you're ready to go. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Here we go. Cool. Your time starts now. Uh, Tim Dakuma says, looking forward to another superb quiz on Mania. With SRS beating Sully last time, it felt a lot like Booker T versus Triple H or DDP versus The Undertaker. The wrong person won. We should be like the crowd in uh, Money in the Bank 2011. If SRS wins, we riot. Uh, Bobby Smash, he says, hey, Colt, I see your billboard every day when riding the brown line to the city. Can't wait to see you and the AW crew are all out. Hashtag join the dark order. And Shiva Wilding says, I finished writing my first novel today and it clocks in at 2000. And stop drawing, please, cult. Stop drawing, ah. please. And it clocks in at 221,997 words. Sitting wow. down to Quizzle Mania or a Blood in the Clock Tower after a writing session has really kept me focused. So I just want to say thank you uh, to everyone involved. Uh, hashtag jam that jam. Oh, it's very, very nice of you. Uh, just before we start, Colt, do you know do you know what jam that jam is? We've got it, I've got it on a t shirt here. Of course I do. It's the the, the saying of parts fun known. Hey, very good, Colt Cabana. Should, should I educate him on my my gimmick? Stolen from Monster Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah Blaze. <laughs> we get it. Your gimmick is you and Eric Bischoff are best friends, blah, blah. No. blah. No. <laughs> no. All right. Colt, let's see your, let's see your artist's masterpiece, please. Really and take everyone. it in. Really take it in. Oh. Denise. Sean. Oh. Um, is it the exploding barbed wire ah, dagger? It is indeed yes, the exploding is. barbed wire oh, dagger. Well done. Very, very well done. good. Greatly overstated that pyro. Did you? What, what did it for you? What did it for you? I just knew it. Well, the pyro actually, all the pyro, it reminded me of what it was supposed to be, and I got the answer. I like to say. I spent years in high school drawing barbed wire, so that's very important. That's very good, Bob. Like wire. on my on my because I was such an ECW fan on my homework. Very, very nice. <laughs> Did you draw like the logos? Everything was in that? barbed wire. Everything. Oh, nice. I can't believe I didn't get the barbed wire tattoo. I can't believe it <laughs> on my arm. <laughs> All right. And for, next up it's Tempest. Tempest. Slide into your DMs. Do 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 Tempest. Why, I'm I've sorry, I'm looking at my eye right now. I feel so proud. I'm very, very proud of you, Denise. Thank you. That was um, a good one. That was a very good drawing. Uh, Te <laughs> Tempest has called himself Temples the Pickles and Peanut Butter Fan <laughs> on Twitter. Jeez, jeez, live the gimmick. All right. Um, it's not new, by the way. That name's been there for a while. <laughs> all right, that is a DM sent to you. There, Tempest. Let me know when you've got it, and let me know when you're ready. I'm just going to send Sean's to his now. Okay. As I as I just checked, Louie is cursing me out for allegedly accusing him of cheating in previous editions of Quizzle Nick. <laughs> I can neither. I have absolutely no comment to make about such he accusations. Be banned. If he cheated, he'd be banned. To me, it wasn't as much him peaking as it is that he abuses steroids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he's on the gas. Like, yes. We all know yes. that. That's... He's yeah. for sure on steroids. <laughs> all right, Tempest, if you start hanging out with Luke. No. No, I'm waiting. You, your time starts now. There we go. And Taylor Hughes says, so awesome to see Colt on my favorite YouTube show. My all-time favorite photo with a wrestler is from the AEW All Out Party in 2019, and Colt put me in a headlock. Hashtag join the dark order. 
That's very nice. Uh, Freddy says, hi, guys. First time Ultra Chat. Just say thank you for the content. Real highlight of the last 18 months of these up and down times from NRB to CBW and all things you do. Sincerely, thanks. Jam that jam. And Sully, are you evil? And Humidifier just said, boom, that. Boom. Stop drawing, please, Tempest. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Okay. Fingers on buzzers. Tempest, reveal your masterpiece. I'm not an artist. Sean. <laughs> Sean. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. <laughs> that is Dusty Rhodes. <laughs> so wait, wait. <laughs> Although, for one night, it could have been Cody Rhodes. For just one night. <laughs> for just one night. Is that bad? Yeah, yeah, okay. that's Teddy you know what's funny i got it right with the polka dots i didn't even see that you put the american flag on the corner yeah. <laughs> very very nice wow. and finally sean i've sent you yours you've got it yes yes excellent your time starts now uh rob reed uh says apparently hagrid from harry potter is the fourth face of foley dewey foley found a mankind figure at a flea market mislabeled as a hagrid figure jason says shout out to my sister stephanie who was supposed to be watching quiz of mania with me but has fallen asleep on the couch instead born to be wild says i just want to do an adam appreciation donation thanks to a good sir for hosting this quiz and putting so much work into it truly our legend my friend much love also colt can you give evil uno a good luck kiss for his match on friday from me please ah Oh, also, choice. Stephanie, wake up. Also, stop drawing Sean. <laughs> Dang, Sean. <sighs> oh, boy. All right, here goes nothing. Fingers on buzzers. Colt. Colt? Tables, ladders, and chairs match. That is not the correct answer. Oh, Tempest. Tempest? That's WLC. That's WLC. Very, very oh. good. Very, very wow. good. All right. That is yeah. the Wii LC match. One of the finest TLC matches WWE. It yeah, ruled. Right. Actually, really great though. Hey, one of Actually. the finest what? One of the finest TLC matches WWE ever put together. And and what did, what was my answer again? Look, now, Cole, <laughs> now <laughs> you have to understand where I'm coming from. Cole. I, said, I, I set Sean a very specific guideline to draw the Wii LC match. All right. I'm saying. I, I have instructions in my DM from Andy Datsun, who says, tell Louie to get back to work. He's supposed to be writing the news that you report first. <laughs> hey, we don't, unless it's ultra chat, we're not, we're not saying that. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. Pay no the money freeze. and then you can make. <laughs> All right. So, uh, that's everything. Oh, that's good. Right. So after that round, the scores are as follows in last place with nine. It's Sully, uh, hey. in, Fourth place with 14, Denise. In third place with 16, Colt Cabana. In se and then in joint first place Ooh. with 24 oh. points yeah. apiece, it's Sean Rossap and Tempest. Well done, boys. All right. So next up, next up, what do we have? We have... Uh, it's, it's time for a plug from our sponsors first. Oh, so Oh. We're going to take a little tiny break, a little one and a half minute break to plug Surfshark. Again, check out the link at the top of the description. The point of Silly Quizzle Mania and its silly, silly content is to be a distraction from the world. Oh, world, you scary. If your response to the world being a stupid place full of awful people is to barricade yourself on your sofa, you've made the smart play. While avoiding the world at large, it seems only fair you get to access the excellent streaming services of the world at large. For that, Surfshark has got you covered. Are you in the UK and want to watch all the Warner Brothers films that will be coming to HBO Max? this year. Maybe you're in the US and want to catch all a peep show using UK Netflix. It's great, you should, by the way. Maybe you want to check out iPlayer, Hulu, Global Entertainment and Sports and much, much more, all from the same sofa than you, Surfshark. It has over 1,800 servers in over 60 countries and when you sign up, you can use it on an unlimited number of devices at the same time. It works on Mac, PC, Xbox, PS4, mobile, smart TV, any device you can think of. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.deals forward slash jam that jam. Enter promo code jam that jam for 83% off and three months for free. Make sure you use that link in code so Surfshark knows that Quizzlemania sent you. Again, that's surfshark.deals forward slash jam that jam. Enter promo code jam that jam for 83% off and three months for free. All right, we are back and we're moving on to our next round, personal favorite round. <laughs> of oh. oh, yes. 
No, no, wait, no. How did you that, do that not. so quickly? No. No. The pickle! How well, did you that? didn't say throw the pickle! Oh, oh no, the pickles oh, are the the green pickle. screen down. Oh. <laughs> That's a no. magic sandwich that I hate. <laughs> Horrible <laughs> magic sandwich. Oh, no. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, oh, God, this is the happiest day of my life. Oh, God, I feel like I should be putting down my credit card details to be watching this. I hate it so much. <laughs> I also just received a reply to a tweet that says, from Nick, tried it on a whim while watching Quizzlemania, and it blew my sodding mind. You have a convert to the peanut butter and pickle sandwich cult. There, there's only oh, one way that we can recover from this. <laughs> Shut up, Sean. <laughs> right. It's time for Name That Jam. No. Oh, no. What's oh, Denise, God. what was no. I going to do? Not do this round? You're, you're on the show. I'm going to stop coming on this show if you do this round. Don't you threaten me with a good time. All right. So this round goes as follows. I'm going to give you... I'm going to send you all a DM. It's another one of those rounds. With... A name of a wrestler and a phrase. <clears throat> Why then want you, for example, I might DM you Hulk Hogan, Waffle House. What you then need to do, like Pictionary, you need to get everyone to guess Hulk Hogan. So you are going to be singing Hulk Hogan's theme tune, but only using the lyrics Waffle House. So if I send that to you, you would have to go, uh, Waffle House, Waffle House. And everyone else would have to get it. Oh, Buzz. <laughs> Oh, okay, Can you please okay. send and, me an easy one? No, I'll do what I want, Denise. That it, won't any help, of their Denise. it can be any of their themes, correct? Just as long as as you long as what you're singing leads someone to correctly guess the right answer, then yes, it's absolutely fine. Use any of their songs. Uh, right. Uh, any questions about name that jam? Magic, no. we're good to go. All right, Denise, you're up first. For fun. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. All right. I hate you so much. No, you don't. Uh, I right. really do right now. Okay, this is, a, this is a good one. This is a good one. There you go, DM sent. Okay. Uh, oh, hold on, I'm trying to think. All right, collect yourselves. Um, so we're going to go straight into this one, obviously. Uh, so fingers on buzzers when you're ready, Denise. Uh, same same scoring as last time. I'm ready. Okay, here right. we go. Sorry if I'm wrong, guys. This is off memory. Okay, mm -hmm. little puddings, little puddings. Uh, cold, cold. Uh, Shawn Michaels. No, it is not Shawn Michaels. <laughs> that drives the little puddings wild. No? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this ah, is a little bit okay. of wild. Uh, okay. Denise, Denise, you always do this. You don't go for a note. You repeat one note over. over, over again. <laughs> I only remember the beginning. I'm can, sorry. Can we hear the rest of it? No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, obviously you only have little puddings. We just need more of a tune. Oh, How sorry. Can we okay. I'll do I'll, can I do the person's entrance sort of? No, no miming. Come along, Denise. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Uh <laughs> no, you're uh, I, I'm gonna say the same thing, okay? Literally. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Little yeah, that's the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop laughing. Little puddings. Little puddings. Don't You're not singing. It's not the same rhythm. Okay, <laughs> Little puddings. <laughs> Just for... I'm sorry. I'm trying my best here. Okay. Da, 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 da. Is that right? No, no, no. <laughs> Denise, are you tone deaf? <laughs> Is that I'm why you sorry. listen to Taylor Swift? Watch this game, okay? <laughs> Someone already said that joke like 20 years ago. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Little puddings. Okay, that's not how it goes. Just saying it. <laughs> oh, that's different? That, oh, that's no, not no, right. that's different. That's not the song. Okay. Little puddings. Little puddings. Little puddings. You see what I'm trying to go with here, right, Adam? Uh, no, 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 no. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I, Sean. Sean? Uh, Kurt Angle? No. No, it's not yeah, Kurt Angle. Little. Pudding. I'm going to go for a guess. Go Is it, it Test? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's actually a really good guess. Uh, no, it's not. Sorry, no. I'm horrible at this game. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take a guess. Just, I don't know, is it Colts music? <laughs> that is a very good guess. It is not cult music it was indeed let me just flash it up on screen for you and denise you you walk us through this one <laughs> was, i was trying to get like that intro yeah. <laughs> little pudding yes that okay i'm not yeah, that would have done it I would have fucking done it. If you even would have went with like the super kick party song from bte get, like, i would have known Okay, you see what I mean? I'm bad at this game. I warned. I would have went with I, I, little, little puddings, lit, lit, little That's puddings. That was true. Yeah. Like, little puddings. Like the pause, little pudding. part. Even little puddings would have worked. Like you could have done the BTE stuff. I'm sorry. Can we move on now? Yes, Denise, we can move on. Torture me. Uh I, I yeah, I I've got, I've got to yeah. be honest. That, that one was for you special. Uh right, Sean, let's get let's get you stepping up to the plate, shall we? We're gonna do this in a random oh, order. All right. Boom. There's your um there's your one. Uh, I have no clue what that theme is and have never heard it in my life. Have you not? No. Right, I'll send you a new one. Yeah. I'll do respect oh, to that that's person. Not fair. When I had that happen to me, you did not give a dang uh, ass for a new one and I did not get a new one. I mean, yeah. Yeah, 95 this is true. percent of our audience would not know this theme. They know the person. They don't know the theme. Oh, no, 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 I don't no, know. Hold on. Wait, I, I don't like that Sean wants you would know to get it. more you points. You would know it, you know and what? that's not fair. You know what? I think that's right. Sean, you can now do what Denise does every time we okay. do this round, and you can Thank Google. You. Thank you. All okay. I ask for is the quality on here. Quite right, oh, Denise. Boy. Here Quite we go. Right. I was too too quick to cave to Sean's terrible, terrible demands. So what you're going to do, uh, Sean's going to listen to that, and I'm going to ask answer some ultra chats and then we'll get back to it. I, I just want to say I have Googled it. And if it's this one, it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Right. Do you, you get it? You got it. He's got it. Uh, Jake <laughs> Baker has said roses are red. Yellow is like a banana. We will riot if the new champ isn't Colt Cabana. I realize I should have said banana like an American. <laughs> that would have made that work. Uh, <laughs> my Capella, Colt Cabana. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Micah Pellegrini says hello there to the worldwide famous athletic and handsome Sully in all seriousness. Thank you, Colt, for all of your work and the Superman pin. Uh, who is the wrestler everyone would want to be roommates with? Go, Sully. Don't let us down. In your travels, Colt, who would who would be the best roommate that you've ever met? Uh, I, I hate to say a gallows, Grado. These are all super fun people. Uh, one of my new I don't want to. I think Miro is very fun. Uh, yeah. That's a secret one. Don't tell anyone. He's a mean bastard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luchasaurus is a fun one, too. Oh, oh Miro, awesome. king of the boys. Mm. Yeah. King of the boys. That's right. Uh, I've just had a message from our mods saying someone has added little puddings to the Young Bucks Wikipedia page. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful stuff. Excellent. That's our legacy. Little puddings. All right. So, Sean. <laughs> uh, Oh boy, here we go. I've listened to about 20 seconds of this song. Material girl! Material girl! <laughs> Material girl! Material girl! Material girl! Material girl! Material girl! Material girl! That's what you got. Did I did I do good, Adam? Not really. Okay. <laughs> Colt's oh, onto cool. it. Look at him. No, Look, no clue. Ah, no son clue. of a bitch. No clue. I sent you, an, I sent you a follow-up DM. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, let me see. That's the one you should do. That's the one you should do. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're keeping, we're keeping, like, I'm going to keep going until someone guesses him. Right, Sean, mm. go back to listening. Declan Malloy 22 says, evening all. Oh, Can't lie, can Denise. Talk? I've got, what? No, 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 he's going, uh, I've sent, I've, I've told him to Google a different theme. Oh. Okay, now hold on. Yeah, yeah. From the same person, but a different theme song. Same, same person. Mm. Okay. I have, I have sent you a message back. 
I sent okay, you a message back. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can all do right, this all we... day. Material all right, here we... girl. Material <laughs> girl. Material girl. Ah, oh, damn. I, I've lost it there. I've oh, lost that's the beat. The song. You're actually singing Material Girl now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like a song from Les Miserables. It's uh, <laughs> very, very sad. Go on, take another run at that, pal. Okay. Material girl, material girl, material girl, material girl, material girl, material girl, material girl. Oh, got it. Colt, 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 Colt. Colt, Colt. American males. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I really thought you had it. Material girl. Why does this sound like something from Mama Mia? Why can no one from Fightful hold a fucking note? <laughs> <laughs> material girl, mat. Oh god, now that's really hard when you have to sing oh, material. Girl. Have <laughs> go go check out my my Denise girl. Salcedo cover of the Grinch and tell me I can't hold a note. Material oh. girl. Oh, yeah, Sullivan, Sullivan, Sullivan. Sullivan? It's, it's Grado. It's yeah! Grado. I can't hold it. How do you yeah. not know yeah. that? Sing it though. Adam sang it, and that's how Sully got it. So why should Sean Listen. get points? Listen, the interference, yes. hey, hey. the hey. interference backfired, and the baby face got a roll no. up victory. No, that's bull. No. <laughs> Listen, I feel like Denise should get two points because she said you're just singing Madonna. No, no. Here's what's going to happen. Sully's going to get three points, and that's the end of it. That's bullshit. <laughs> I, I sang it, fucking Sean. You were just material, girl. No, material. I can't support that. Yeah. I didn't ask for oh. this interference. You're not He's doing it on behalf of me. He's got so, the best entrance. I love Sully it. Sully gets the points, and that's it. Mm. Sully gets the points, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you very Unreal. much. Unreal. I really like Ray, though. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about take they take the points away from Sully. Yeah. What, what, hey. Hey. John's got hey. well, friend of me. John's well, friend of me. Why why well, should you why should you cheating help him? Why I should that happen? Now. I think Sully's point should be taken away. I want to hear from Colt. Cole, what do you think about the situation? Yeah, I don't think anyone gets any points. There you go. What oh the, what the wow. Hell is this? What the hell is this? What the hell? What the hell is this? Here never is. never meet your hero, shit. Sully. Sean was shit at that. What was that? <laughs> oh, shit. What about me? Listen, I'm j I'm just here to do my best. I'm yeah, just you... here to to give it my all. And Sully, you got points from the guy who knows who made the game up. <laughs> who wrote the That's, game. True. That's very true. That's not Is hard. That I, I Although, guess the I did his impact theme first after I googled it. And right. it's pretty good. What's it's pretty the ruling, good. Adam? What's the, the ruling? I got to go with Colt on this one. Thank you. Uh, this no, is no fresh bullshit. This Sully. is fresh bullshit. I'll tell you what, Sully. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll let you do an ultra, an ultra chat. So say whatever you want right now to make up <laughs> for it. Don't even have to pay. Don't have to. Colt Cabana, you made an enemy for life. That's it. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna regret this, Cabana. One day, me and you in the ring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But that was the equivalent of five dollars, so that's that was better than points. <laughs> better than three points. Add a stipulation, Sully. Well, you'll need to spend another five dollars for that. All right. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> Next up, Sully. It's on you. Oh, you shit. get to you get some you'll get to make some points here. How about this? All right. Okay. So I'm gonna send you okay. a DM. Oh, I've lost Sean, control. that was brutal. Jeez. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was real bad. Real bad, I'm afraid. Uh right, there you go. You got that, Sully? Okay, great, great, yes, lovely. Um, okay, lovely, I can do that straight away. Oh, the flex on it, you love to see Here it. Here we go. Oh, ha, dog. Oh, ha, dog. Oh, ha, Tempest. dog. Uh, I got Tempest first. And sell you out, run, run away. away. Very good. Very good. He even did the music video like Jericho up in the camera <laughs> yeah, thing. Like really it was close. so good. I am um, cool like just a no. Do you remember when all the wrestlers sang uh, the lyrics to his song? It was like his anniversary or something. 
Ooh, I haven't seen that. It was on AEW, and they sat everyone down. They're like, "Cool." We, I was like, "Oh, I don't know the words to any song ever." <laughs> <laughs> and I did this like five minute improvisation of just like, like. <laughs> I hit him with a back elbow. I'm on the road <laughs> with my band. <laughs> and uh, they did not use any of it. I was like, how do you know? Like, I, like the camera, everyone was dying of laughter. I was like, that's gold. Funny. I was so pissed. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tempest, this is for I you. Also, I also think Sully shouldn't get points for that, though. Uh, Cole, what's the ruling on that? Does Sully get, get points for that? Oh, well, now that I am his mortal enemy. <laughs> yeah, enemy for life. Enemy for life. Yes. Ooh, well, I like to pump up my enemy so the draw is bigger. It's like a, <laughs> like a Logan Paul. Yeah. yeah I'll give him the points. <laughs> All right. Oh, thanks, Cole. Maybe we could be friends. No. <laughs> Damn it, Sully. Have you learned nothing? No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, Psychology, no, no man. Yeah, whoa, All right. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be telling Colt to go fuck himself on, on this show. I really didn't. <laughs> Everyone should listen to Wrestling Anonymous with Colt <laughs> Is this the platform for your show you imagined it to be? Of course. Of course. It is Quizomania after all. Tempest, and are you ready? You too. Oh, um, fine. And, and, and to you, and to you, and to all a good fuck you, uh, Tempest. I'm I'm currently listening to this song. I have heard it before. I just wanted to re up. All right, fair enough. Declan Malloy says, "Evening all, can't lie, Denise. I've got even less confidence in you than normal, but still rooting for you." Failing that, let's go, Sully. Uh, Arnie K says, "Thank you for helping me through uh, my suicidal slash depressing time. I love you guys. Thank you so much, Arnie K, and thank you so much for donating. And we're really glad to have helped you at a difficult time." Dan Christian says, "Happy nice day." Um, and Henley says, "Good evening. What would be your dream venue or location for a major wrestling pay per view? I can guess Colts. Thanks, Jam That Jam, and never forget Dolph Ziggler kisses, kisses Trisha Paytas on the what? I don't understand that one. But what would be your what would be your dream venue or location for a major wrestling pay per view? Oh well, I'll answer this with the same answer. With the same, it's the same answer that you asked me the very first question: Pizza Hut." <laughs> <laughs> gotta gotta go for that dream <laughs> gotta go for that dream um i mean i would love to see like a proper major show in the uk please like a proper pay-per-view show pack out wembley again i'm sure it will happen in the future uh and stl paddy says oh boy denise is back here we go whatever doesn't matter it's sully time and for tempest alles la alles les habitants les habitants Allez les habitants. Did I, did I get that right? I don't speak French, I'll be honest. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the French say, you are les incompetents. <laughs> incroyable. Oh, All right. Uh, Tempest, uh, the floor is yours. Okay. You gave me a hard one here, pal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging from the booths. <laughs> Absolutely. The With biggest the ring curtain jerk I've ever heard. <laughs> All right. The most delicious. No one's gonna get this. Cool. Tiddly tiddly wings. Tiddly tiddly wings. Tiddly wings. Tiddly wings. Tiddly wings. Tiddly wings. Tiddly wings. Got a hundred percent. You're not gonna get much better than that. <laughs> I need to hear it again. Tiddly tiddly wings. Tiddly tiddly wings. Tiddly tiddly wings. Tiddly wings. Tiddly wings. Tiddly wings. <laughs> That's as good as you're getting, folks. <laughs> uh, do we have any guesses from the Sean? Sean? Um, William Regal. It is not William Regal. <laughs> Very good guess. Uh, anyone else have like, something they want to throw? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sing it. I'm not going to. Did somebody was like an opera song or something. Yeah, like Colt. I was thinking like the Maestro from WCW. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a shout. <laughs> you imagine? Uh, that's not the right answer, unfortunately. Uh, Sully or Denise? Oh, I don't got nothing. It'd be appropriate right. if you did give the top heel on this show the top heel in wrestling history's theme song, The Stro. <laughs> Sully? 
I, I, uh, it, uh, it sounds a little bit like the Russian national anthem. It was, it, is it, it Rusev? <laughs> it's, it's not. I'm afraid. Oh. Uh, he's Bulgarian, no. thank you. <laughs> I know, but he was billed as Russian for so long. <laughs> Hilariously, even though he's got a Bulgarian tattoo on his arm. Ridiculous. <laughs> Stupid. Um, do, 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 do. It was indeed the Four Horsemen's thing. Oh, <laughs> you got, you got a, a couple of 20-some-year-olds, like... Who's going to guess the Four Horsemen song? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, you're right. Us 20-year-olds are just like, come on. That's why I said a couple and not four. Six, six 20-year-olds hanging yes. out. Yes. Yeah, just a bunch <laughs> of kids. What's up, fellow kids? Uh, us Gen Zers. Hey, uh, that was... <laughs> that was indeed the Four Horsemen's theme, ably sung by Tempest the Wrestler. And finally, Colt Cabana. Give it to me. I'm ready. All right. So let me just copy this to paste it into your. All right. There you go. Oh, hang on. That did not send. Didn't send. The, f- the Four Horsemen. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Hold on. Do, I, do you want to do some alt? Wait. Yeah, I got to listen to this for a second. Sorry. Yeah, you haven't listened to it. That's fine. Jay Denton says, mm. hi, guys. Investing a bit of my birthday money from Monday. A question. Some wrestling moves are named after wrestlers, such as the Mishinoku driver. Are there any oh, currently I'm... used wrestling moves that could one day be named after that wrestler? That's an interesting question. That's an interesting question I haven't heard. I could see, like, the one wing angel end up being called the Omega driver. You yeah. know, like after yeah. he's done using it. <clears throat> That's a good one. Anyone else have any advance on that? Um, definitely a diving headbutt will be named after Denise and her big ass head. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> you know, like cause some real impact for your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh Colt, you ready for us? Yeah, hold on. I'm listening. Okay. Jurassic Jurassic Park <laughs> Jurassic Park <laughs> Jurassic Park Jurassic Park Park Jurassic Park Jurassic Park Park Jurassic Park Jurassic Park Park Jurassic Park Jurassic Park Jurassic Park Jurassic Park Park John Jurassic Park. John, is this DX? It's DX, very well. Oh, oh that was that was very good. Delightful stuff. <laughs> I, I forgot about that little uh, talking intro part. You should have done the Run oh, DMC version. <laughs> the King of Rock. Who? <laughs> All right. Okay. Jurassic Dope. Park. Who? Jurassic Park. What? All right. The scores <laughs> after that round in last place with twelve. Sully. Oh. In fourth place with 14, Denise. In third place with 19, Colt Cabana. In joint first place again with 27 points apiece, Sean Rossap and Tempest the Wrestler. As we head into this, our final round, which is, is it? after after quite a long time in the woods, it is where ah, here we are survival of the people who oh, know the oh. most about a very specific <laughs> wrestling. Let's go. Let's go. None of that. This my line garbage this time. Oh, I love go. that's my line. Different. <laughs> All right. So this is a little different to the normal survivals. Um, because this one might go. <laughs> God. Uh, apparently, um, Colt Cabana dreams of having a match one day at Pizza Hut against Sullivan Bo Brown has been added to Colt Cabana's uh, Wikipedia page. <laughs> it's Amazing. true. Everything on Wikipedia yeah. is true. All In right. my head, though, it's just like it's a, it's a soccer stadium and they put the giant Pizza Hut <laughs> thing over it. That's all yeah. I really think. Is it I'm a pizza about- on a pole match? I'm just I'm imagining Wembley, but with an actual tiny little Pizza Hut inside. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> they build the entire restaurant inside. It's like a, a Punjabi prison. You can't see. It's really oh. awkward for people. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's not fun for the spectators, but we're having a, the time of our lives. All right. So the way this works is, um, I am going to 
uh, give you a category. And we're going to go in order of last to first. So it's going to go Sully, Denise, Colt, um, and then flip a coin for Tempest and uh, Sean. So Tempest, uh, your odds. That is evens. Uh, Sean, do you want to go before or after Tempest? Um, I'll go after. All right, that's how it's going to work. Uh, so then you have to give me an example of that category, basically, a working example, and a, one that hasn't already been said. So if I said, if it was like Simpson supporting characters, Mr. Burns, Bumblebee Man, okay. blah, blah, blah. You keep going until you either can't think of one, you get one wrong, or you do one that's already been said, at which point, if you get it wrong, I will remove you from the stream like that. So you see, it's survival. Uh, if you are removed first, oh no, you get- oh, in the void. <laughs> if you are removed first, you get zero points. If you're removed after that, two, then four, then six, then eight, then 10, um, for the last person standing. All make sense? Wonderful, yeah. uh, and then yeah, we, we're gonna we're gonna keep going around in a circuit until be, as people are gonna drop out and until there's only one person left standing, and the one category that we're going to do, we're just gonna do the one, is as follows. Just type it in. AEW pay per view matches. AEW pay-per-view matches. So the uh, to answer your question before you ask it, no buy-ins, no pre-shows. Thank you, Adam. Just <laughs> matches that have appeared on the pay-per-view. I need the match and the show it's from. Oh, come on. It's a oh, right. Oh, 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 I don't even know what the pay-per-view we just had is called. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the guy who doesn't remember any lyrics to any songs. I don't know that. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to give you some time to write some stuff down. Uh, I imagine this might go a bit. I imagine Sean and, <laughs> and Tempest are going to take us real while. I've been at half of them. So do feel free to, if you are eliminated, do feel free to stretch your legs, grab us some water. Um, what, while you are writing it down, I'm going to... So at the moment, I'm just going to point out that who who can win and who can't. So at the moment, uh, if Tempest and SRS crash out at the same time and Colt was to win, which I imagine he will because he wrestles for AEW. No, I'm uh, not the stuff I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, for example, if Colt got the full 10, Colt would, 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 win, would win. Denise and Sully can't win, but they hit, they're here. Then why the hell am I trying? Good point, I'm Denise. Good point. Point. I'm writing things down. Personal pride, Denise. Personal Thank you. Pride. Uh, Bricky Doo says, do we miss Bros uh, Brock Lesnar as part of the main event scene? And do we think the inevitable showdown between him and Bobby will be worth all this way? I, you know what? I do miss Brock. Um, I do miss Brock as a main eventer. Absolutely. I, I think Brock's fantastic. Uh, him and Bobby Lashley will be bloody brilliant when it happens. Um, yeah. No, no arguments there. Uh, Revenant says, follow at underscore Denise Salcedo. We must get her to 25K as soon as possible. This Ooh. is not a paid promotion. <laughs> Speaking of promotion and whatnot, not to just shamelessly plug, but I've been quite happy with how my uh, YouTube channel, Tempest the Wrestler, has been doing of late. My latest video, How WWE Fixed Roman Reigns, is my first video to pass 10,000 views. So I'm happy with that milestone. I would like to get to 3,000 subscribers on there uh, within the next, I don't know, week or two, and I'm only a few hundred off. So if anybody would be so kind to go and subscribe there, I make good content if I would like to say so myself, and I don't think you'd be disappointed. I'm already subscribed, good sir, yeah, otherwise no I would buy do in matches. So if a match was on a buy-in, we can't put that one? Correct, Amundo, no buy-in okay. matches. Only matches on the pay-per-view proper. Matches that you have paid to view. Uh, Chaos Control says, Colt has the best wrestling gif right now. Laughing emoji. Is that the one with the... Because it's, uh, it's glorious. Oh, this one? <laughs> oh, that's... Um, now, that's very good. Suddenly, all the dads across the world are just be like... You know, I didn't, I didn't do this one. <laughs> <laughs> that one's for you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Uh, Chris Rain says, Colt with the heel turn right off the bat. Uh, talking about the pickle sandwiches at the beginning. Goodness, we are behind on some ultra chat. Uh, Adam Blamplate uh, says, can't wait for the hilarity with Colt and Sully on. And yes, Denise, supporting you is like supporting San Marino and Andorra and WC qualifying. We all know you ain't winning shit. I don't know what that means. World Cup qualifying is football. Oh, football. 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 Chelsea. Chelsea. Uh, Jared McCullough says, hey, lads, thanks for keeping me sane these past few months ago. Sully, this even Shawcross says, I'm rooting for Denise. She has the best character arc on the show. Her journey from glorified jobber to obnoxious heel has been enthralling. I hope to one day be important enough to be interviewed by her. And James Fieri says, hi, guys. Uh, loving the show. Excited for the nonsense that will be tonight uh, before going for my second dose tomorrow. Petition for Sully to give us his best. This is a local shop for local people. There's nothing for you here. Also, Tempest Fox Sausage Dogs. <laughs> Someone paid five pounds to have me say that out loud uh um, untrue fact, fact, check. Yeah. fact check <laughs> no sir all right uh sully do you have a do you have a a league of gentlemen oh. impression i mean what is it? I, yeah it's the local i don't really know how they talk i can't you've remember. only got you can only do michael k can't you i can only do <laughs> michael, michael k. k this is a local shop for local people and that's how he talks in the batman when he's playing alfred in the batman movies that's how he says <laughs> that is uncanny <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thank you sally you're a joy you. all right let's 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 kick this off shall we sally oh, not enough time Oh, well, never mind. Uh, Sully, uh, let's okay. start us off. Uh, please do tell me what uh, I've got. I've got the big 11-page pa long uh, thing copied from uh, Wikipedia here. So do tell me the match and tell me the show it's from, please. Okay, so first one, Omega versus Orange Cassidy versus Pac. In the latest Double or Nothing, it was Double or Nothing, right? The latest. That's correct. You oh, are absolutely God. right. God, uh, you don't have to have written them all down, just so you know. We'll be here forever. Oh, yeah. But uh, no, you, you don't have to show them to me on the page. You can just say them out loud. Uh, Denise. Mm. Inner Circle, Pinnacle, AW, Don, Stadium Stampede. Very good. Done. Uh, Colt. Uh, the very prestigious Casino Battle Royale. Mm. Uh, at double or nothing starring Colt Cabana. Very, very good. <laughs> um Tempest. Uh and just a quick uh clarification. If there's like a multi-person match, do you just need like this, like this match, or do you need to be like this person versus this person versus this person? If it's like not a like a tag team with a name, I will need the competitors. But inner circle versus pinnacle is fine. You know, I'm not going to be that much of a stickler. But if it's a randomly thrown yeah, together yeah. team, then yes, I will need. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure we'll we'll get to the match, and I can ask again. But for now, I'll say Hangman Page versus Brian Cage, in the Very match good. of uh, rhyming names from Double or Nothing 2021. Rage in a cage. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, then Sean, Cody Rhodes, Anthony Gogo, -Go, Double or Nothing. Oh, I had that one. <laughs> All right. So we're just checking off everything from double or nothing. Love to see it. Mm -hmm. uh, Sully, we're back around to you. Uh, Hikara, uh, Hikara Shida versus Britt Baker, double or nothing. Very Thank good. You. Look at you fly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a lad. <laughs> All right. Denise Salcedo. Moxley Kingston versus Young Bucks, double or nothing. Very good. <laughs> this is easy for me. Very happy. Uh, Colt. Uh, uh, Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky versus Sting and Darby Allen at Double or Nothing. Very good. All right. Well, there's one match left on Double or Nothing, Tempest. What is it? Uh, that would be Miro versus Lance Archer from Double Very or Nothing 2021. Good. Fantastic match as well. All right. So that is all of Double or and, Nothing uh, done. That's as so... far as my knowledge goes. Sean <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rossap, give us a different J one. Just to fuck with you and make you scroll. Uh, <laughs> MJF, Sammy, and Spears against Darby Havoc and Janela from Fight from the Fallen. All right, MJF, Sam, Darby, and, and Spears. Which that, Fight for the Fallen? Uh, 2019. It was uh, MJF, Sammy, and Spears against Darby, Jimmy Havoc, and Janela. Very good. Yes, you're absolutely right. Sorry, I misheard you, and I it was oh, I had my finger poised to eliminate <laughs> you from the stream. Would have been lovely. All right, uh, back round to you, Sully. This is this is a half memory, and it may have been a dream, 
I know the match happened, but I can't remember whether it was at this pay-per-view. Chris Jericho versus John Moxley at Revolution. Very good. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, indeed. Revolution 2020. The name of the show is, is fine enough. Um, Denise Salcedo. Moxley versus Omega Revolution 2021. Mm, Revolution 2021. Yeah. Moxley versus Omega. <laughs> Oh yes, of course, the exploding barbed wire death match. Yes, indeed, mm -hmm. done and done. Um, Colt. I'm so I'm trying to remember my debut, and the only thing I remember is uh, Revolution, uh, Page and Kenny versus the Young Bucks. Yes, indeed, mm -hmm. very, very good. Mm -hmm. He's hanging in there, Page and Kenny versus the Young Bucks. Uh, there we are. Lovely, uh, Tempest. Uh, okay, I'm going to say the Young Bucks versus MJF and Chris Jericho from Revolution 2021. Very good. Yes, that's absolutely right. Great match. Um, Sean? I'll say from that same pay-per-view, Hikaru Shida against uh, Ryo Mizunami. Yes, indeed. Very good. Uh, back to you, Sully. Um, uh, it, it, now, it, uh, mm, the Inner Circle <laughs> in the Stadium Stampede match no! against... That was mine. Guess, Think of a different one. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't oh. got any others, Cole. <laughs> Fuel to the fire of the rivalry. You love to see it. <laughs> That's all I've got. Um, uh, yes, against uh, the Elite um, it, it, in Double or Nothing 2020. Yes, very good. Right. Yes. Okay, great. Wait, was that Double or Nothing 2020? It was indeed Double or Nothing 2020. Just checking to make sure you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> um denise oh I'm um, it's my turn it's your turn okay cody versus D dustin aw double or nothing 2019 uh yeah absolutely great match um cody not cody colt that's your name <laughs> hi colt cabana how are you doing all right oh man i'm, Ki I'm done. kingston versus moxley mm -hmm. full gear that is correct. Oh. Very good. Yes. John, John Moxley versus Eddie Kingston. I quit match at Full Gear 2020. Uh, Tempest. Uh, I will... S Ooh, you know what? I'm going to save that one. I'm going to say... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to say Hangman Page versus Matt Hardy from Revolution 2021. Uh, Revolution 2021. Hangman Page versus Matt Hardy. Absolutely. The big money match. All right, uh, Sean. I'll keep chipping away at that one. Kip and Miro against Best Friends Revolution 2021. Correct, Amundo. Sully. Um, Cody Rhodes versus Darby Allen. All Out 2019. <laughs> That's a shame. Oh, that is a I'm shame. I'm out of here. Oh, no. No. You hate to see it. Sorry, Sully. I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove uh, Cody Rhodes versus. Uh, mm, I feel like I should remove both Cody versus Darby matches now, just to make it harder for everyone. I am. I'm going to remove it. Cody. I'm going to remove Cody versus Darby from Fighter Fest 19, uh, 2019, and I'm also going to remove Cody versus Darby Allen at which one was it? Full Gear 2021, mm -hmm. 2020. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Right. Done. Uh, Denise. Done. My brain is fried. Peace. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Bye, Denise. That's fair. Cult. Oh, uh, Nyla versus Sheeta. Uh, full gear. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you got it. Uh, Tempest. All right. I will say Kenny Omega versus Hangman Page from Full Gear uh, last year. Correct. Forgot what year it was for a second. I didn't want uh, to just say a number. <laughs> Because... Casino Tag Team Royale Revolution 2021. Very good. Uh, casino Tag done. Uh, also, just you know, because uh, Denise and Sully crashed out on the same point, they both get zero points, unfortunately. Uh, so, whoever goes out next will be getting four points. No, four, four, yes, four. All right, Colt. Uh, casino Battle Royale Double or Nothing 2019. Uh, yeah, that'll do me. Uh, oh, I think that was on the pre-show. Unfortunately. <laughs> that was on the buy-in, wasn't it? It was. 
<laughs> it was. We've lost I was Colt. There. We've lost Colt. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Let me just um put this here so I remember. Right. Tempest, you're up next. Indeed I am. Okay. Um I will say I'll go with an easy one. I'll say the Young Bucks versus FTR from Full Gear. Young Bucks versus FTR from Full Gear. Oh, I've got so much scrolling to do. There we are. Young Bucks versus FTR. Bloody wonderful match, that. All right. Uh, Sean. Uh, Darby Allen and Sting against Team Taz at Revolution 2021. Yep. Tempest. Well, this is the one that I was going to ask about initially because i've got scorpio sky wins the revolution face of the revolution ladder match at revolution but like do you need all I mean, however many people are in no, that no i'll take the name of the match uh, two seconds just because <clears throat> not gonna be on screen for a bit because i imagine this is gonna run for a bit everyone do subscribe to wrestling anonymous with cole cabana uh, i'm gonna keep that on the screen so face of the revolution ladder match done all right so that is double or nothing 2021 revolution 2021 cleared out sean mox and Brody lee double or nothing 2020 absolutely there we go <clears throat> very good uh tempest uh i'll say mjf versus chris jericho from full gear uh yes correct sean Hold on, I'm writing that down. Uh, Christopher Daniels in Shima at Fighter Fest 2019. All right, let me just get that. Very good. <laughs> I'm going to try to get these as close to wherever you are from now on. <laughs> That's it. All right, Tempest. Okay. Uh, I'll say Matt Hardy versus Sammy Guevara from Full Gear. The uh, Elite Deletion, I believe it was called. Uh, Matt Hardy. Yes, it was indeed. I almost removed you, but no, it wasn't just at all out. Um, Sean, Dark There's Order best, Dark Order best friends, all out 2019. Oh, just <laughs> stop making me scroll up and down. Uh, Dark Order versus best friends, absolutely. All right, uh, Tempest. Uh, okay, I'm just writing that one down. I'm gonna try to remember the ones from the shows I was at because I always remember those really well. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll finish off full gear by saying Orange Cassidy versus John Silver. Uh, yep, absolutely full gear. Done. What about the Cracker Barrel Clash? Darby Allen, Joey Janela, Jimmy Havoc. That's uh, uh, all out 2019. Thank you. All right, Cracker Barrel Clash. Yep, absolutely. Done. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. I will say, um, oh goodness, I'll say John Moxley versus MJF from All Out 2020. All right. Since we're there, Sheeta and Rosa. Thank you. Tempest. Uh, I'll say Orange Cassidy versus Chris Jericho from All Out. Very good. The Mimosa match. Sean. Um, we'll go Fighter Fest 2019 again. Mox and Janela. There we go. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I keep wanting you to be wrong, but you never are, are you? All right. So this is for the championship. If you're just tuning in, uh, it is AEW pay-per-view matches. Both guys have exactly the same number of points. So, yeah, this is for the gold. This is for the whole kit and caboodle, ladies and gentlemen, Tempest. Oh, my Lord. I'm running out of I'm running out of space on my one sheet of paper. <laughs> Didn't come prepared. Hate to see well, it. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll say uh, the Young Bucks versus Jurassic Express from All Out 2020. Uh, Young Bucks versus While we're there, Big Swole, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, the tooth and nail. Yes, indeed. All right, Tempest. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'll say the other Matt Hardy versus Sammy Guevara match from All Out. There yep. we go. There the we bad go. one. Sean. Um, so we're getting back into when people were around. Well, there's double or nothing last year. Um, 
Chris Statlander and Penelope at Double or Nothing last year. There we go. Uh, yep, absolutely. Tempest. Okay. Uh, I, I'll say the Casino Battle Royal from All Out 2020 where Lance Archer won. Yep. That, wait, was that a Battle Royal or was that a ladder match? That was a Battle Royal. The Casino Battle, battle Royal All Out royal. 2020. Okay. Just... I because I thought it was a ladder match for a second. I was like, oh shit, did I catch him? Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, what was that last one I need to mark it off? Casino uh, Battle Royal, Casino Battle Royal, all out 2020. Oh, okay. I, I was thinking of double or nothing. I'm dumb. Uh, Hikaru Shida, Nyla Rose, double or nothing 2020. All right. Hikaru Shida. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Tempest. Uh, oh. I'll say MJF versus Jungle Boy from uh, Double or Nothing 2020. Great match. Uh, Sean. Uh, best Friends versus TH2 Double or Nothing 2019. That's Angelico and Jack Evans. All right. Yes, absolutely. Done. Tempest. Okay. Uh, I'll go with the one that Sean was thinking of, the... Uh, casino ladder match from Double or Nothing 2020, won so by Brian good. Cage. Uh, yep, absolutely. Fight for the Fallen, uh, Page versus Kip Sabian. Yep. Tempest. Okay. Um, oh, God. You finally caught up to me as far as like writing down. <laughs> well, I'm going to need um, them off the dome piece then, Tempest. I've been to most of these, buddy. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, I'll go. Uh, I'll go. Cody versus Lance Archer from Double or Nothing, twenty twenty. All right, Cody versus Lance. Yeah, absolutely, Sean. Um, SCU versus the Lucha Brothers. Fight for the Fall in twenty nineteen. It's there. Yep. It's. I know it's there. <laughs> I just you're making me go. Just stick to one show at a time. You bell ends. Right, Tempest. <sighs> I'm trying to do that. I'm working my way through like a good, a good. I'm trying to get all over the map because I know it's harder for him to remember <laughs> them that way. That is a very good strategy. You'd like board games so much, Sean. <laughs> Listen, I never really played any board games like that. My wife was like, oh, let's play Clue. Let's play Clue. I was like, okay. And then I just mind fucked her into losing. <laughs> it was just brilliant. It was brilliant. Jesus. All right, Tempest. He's yes. giving you enough, enough of a window there. Yes. Helpful. Helpful it was. I'll say Sammy Guevara versus Darby Allen from uh, Revolution 2020. Mm. Uh, Sammy Guevara versus Darby Allen. The right branch. All right, Sean. Um, let me write this down. Uh, Britt Baker, Kylie Ray, um, Nyla Rose. Oh, man. Um, Gee. Awesome Kong. She cut my hair. God damn it. Yes, that's right. Double or nothing 2019. Um, <laughs> I, was, I just remembered it was a four-way, and then I was like, who was that fourth person? Then Brandy came out, and she's like, <laughs> I want this to be awesome. God, that's such a fucking flex on you. Well done, sir. All right. Um, Tempest. Um, I'll say Nyla Rose versus Chris Statlander from Revolution 2020. Correct. Sean. Uh, SEU Jurassic Express All Out 2019. Correct. Tempest. Uh, MJF versus Cody, Revolution 2020. Absolutely. Sean. One I completely forgot about. It was uh, the eight man, Dark Order. QT, Dustin, Sky, and and Matt Cardona at All Out 2020. Bastard, I was saving that one. Oh. Yes, absolutely. Done. Okay. Uh, Only one, one match one left on All Out 2020 if you want to tick that off my list. <laughs> huh. I have you should just guess. That. Just guess. I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Um I will say one of my favorite AEW matches ever, that being Pac versus Orange Cassidy from mm. Revolution 2020. That match 
ruled. Right. All right, done and done. Uh, Sean, the speed round, boys. You got this. Uh, uh, we had a six man, the elite against uh, Laredo Kid and the Lucha Brothers at Fighter Fest 2019. That would have been Omega and Bucks. So, say that again, sorry. It was 29. Uh, Fighter Fest. Was it Fight, Fighter, Fighter Fest? Fest yeah, it would have been Fighter Fest 2019. Say the names of the people in it again. No, why don't you say the names of the people in there again? <laughs> you do it. You're guessing. Why don't you say the damn names of the people? It was uh, I said Kitty Omega, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, the the elite against the Lucha Brothers and Laredo Kid. Okay, correct. All right, good. Okay, what the fuck? I don't know what he's doing sure. here. I want to make sure you're on the level. Tempest. Uh, I'm going to say um, uh, Hangman Page versus Pac from Full Gear 2019. Mm. Uh, yep. Absolutely. Uh, Sean. Um, Spears and Janela from uh, Full Gear 2019. Just wrote it down. Very good. Tempest. Okay, I'll say uh, Santana and Ortiz versus Young Bucks from Full Gear 2019. Riho and Emi Sakura from that same show. Very good. Uh, I'll say SCU versus um, Lucha Brothers versus uh, Private Party from Full Gear 2019. Very good. Sure. Uh, Fighter Fest. Actually, no, no, I won't go with that one. I'll go for Double or Nothing 2019 Bucks versus Lucha Brothers. Uh, Double or Nothing 2019. Where are we? Uh, we are Bucks versus Lucha Brothers. Yes, absolutely. Whew. Um, Look at you boys oh. go. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this one's been said yet. I'll say Cody versus Chris Jericho from Full Gear 2019. Uh, say again, sorry, Cody versus? Cody versus Jericho from Full Gear 2019. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Sean. Uh, Riho and she did all out 20 or yeah. 2019. Correct. Mm -hmm, I, did, mm -hmm. I did not expect this to go this long. Goodness me, boys. Tempest. I mean, look, look who, look who's involved. You, you should expect this at this point. Mm. Uh, I'll say, uh, Chris Jericho versus hangman page from all out, uh, 2019. Yes. Sure. Um, trying to remember if that one even got said <laughs> mm. and i'll play it safe regardless um and say seu strong hearts double or nothing 2019 uh, seu strong yes very good tempest mm -hmm. okay uh, I'll say Cody versus Sean Spears from All Out uh, 2019. Yep. Yep. Sean. Page, MJF, Jimmy Havoc, Jungle Boy, Fighter Fest 2019. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Um, are you allowed to say how many are left in All Out 2019? No. All right. No, I've got to make it hard. I've got to make it hard for you. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's 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 fair. Um, I don't think anyone said Pac versus Kenny Omega from that show. Which show? Uh, All Out 2019. Uh, nope, that has not been said yet. Sean. Um, Kenny Omega versus Shima at Fight for the Fallen 2019. Correct. Tempest. Okay. Fight oh, forever. <laughs> um, Two men I'm, who I'm really, just... really want this. One of these. Oh, <laughs> God. Um, Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega from Double yeah. 2019. Very good. <laughs> that was Main up there as my, as my easily <laughs> obvious one. Um, I've got a couple... I got a few that I just got loaded up, ready to go. Uh, and I'm going to use one of them. Riho, Nyla, and Yuka Sakazaki from uh, 
Fighter Fest. Very good. All right, Fighter Fest is done. Oh, thank God. I didn't remember <laughs> that show at all. <laughs> all right, Tempest. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's, in that case, um, uh, let's get, let me see if I can get the teams right. Let's go with Hikaru Shida, Riho, and, um, and Ryo Mizunami against uh, this... Aja, against Aja Kong, Emi Sakura, and Yuka Sakazaki. Well, let me, let me tell you about all the, the white people in the crowd that night. What? What's going <laughs> on? Uh, okay, Double or Nothing 2019 is done. Okay, I can reveal there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches left. Between you, you've named almost every AEW pay-per-view match. And if you do, I don't know what happens then, because I really thought one of you would have lost by now. Tim, I'm kind uh, of Sean. embarrassed, quite honestly. Um, oh, hang on, I'm being waved to in the lobby by Denise. Hi, Denise. Yeah, Adam, you did not think this through. You should have done a year, selected a year, and I think that would have been a better challenge. Instead, I'm just here reading. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, the Bucks versus Cody and Dustin Rhodes fight for the fall in 2019. Uh, that is correct. This is the main event. Yes. The Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. All right. Tempest. Is that what left. they called them? That's what okay. Wikipedia calls them. All right. Well, I've got, I've got a couple that I've been saving. So I'll say Dustin Rhodes versus Jake Hager from Revolution 2020. Revolution 2020 is done in the books. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Um, right, there's one that I'm saving, so I'm I'm trying to think. <laughs> Are we done with Revolution 2021? I, I I probably should stop telling you, really, shouldn't I? So yeah, in fact, you yeah, from here on out, now that there's like five matches left, I'm not gonna tell you. Okay. Um <sighs> I really wanted to save this one. Dark Order against Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus against TH2 fight for the fall in 2019. Yeah, that's very good. Okay. Four, four matches left. And if we get through all four, then I guess you boys tie. And I guess champion's advantage dictates that Sean Ross Sapp will be walking away. Get out of here. Get out of here. Tempest, I don't know what to tell you. In a draw, oh, mm. does the champion retain their gold or not? Get out of here with that nonsense. Oh, I, you better have I'll, say, I'll say Brandy versus Allie from Fight for the Fallen. Goodness me, 2019. Wow, I didn't even have that one. I completely spaced on that. Hang on. Hang on now. Fight for the Fallen, 2019. It was not great. I see. I see no match there. Brady Rhodes versus Allie the Bunny. Maybe her name is. Fight for the Fallen. I'm looking at. I'm looking at the Wikipedia page right now, pal. It happened. I can tell you for a fact because Awesome Khan came out and Aja Khan came out and Brandy Brandy Rhodes turned heel during the match. I remember it happening. I just. I don't remember. I just don't remember when it happened i thought it happened at either fight for the fallen or fighter fest but uh fight for the fallen why is it not on the that's so weird it's not on the wikipedia <laughs> yeah i don't know you've that's done so, so well they... <laughs> like and i can so tell well you you've beaten my system okay <laughs> yep yep that's fine sean yeah hmm. now there's four matches left because, like, just in case people try and say, like, oh, it was a buy-in match, it wasn't a buy-in match, and it definitely came later in the show than the match that Sean talked about with Janela and Yeah, and, you're, and all I, those I, just, guys. I just completely spaced on it. I forgot that they had that feud. All right, boys, yeah. finishes off. Fuck. Um, <sighs> you boys have God. beaten Wikipedia. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm uh -huh. trying to, I'm trying my best to remember a couple more. Um, <clears throat> God damn it, pal. What in the world? <clears throat> damn it. I know there's just an obvious one that I'm missing. 
And I've got one that I haven't marked out yet, but I am positive somebody has said it. I feel <sighs> the same way about my list. But oh my All right, let's go, boys. God damn it. Um, I don't know if I had said this one, but I know I haven't said this other one. Jericho and Page at All Out 2019. Let's, let's go, boys! And new! Not yet. Not yet, Tempest. You yes. need to give me a right answer before you get this championship. Dustin Rhodes versus Sean Spears from Double or Nothing 2020. Let's go! And new... Quizzle Mania champion. <laughs> Look at that. Put me over <sighs> here. Put me over here. Absolutely. There you go. <sighs> Unbelievable. Well done. Oh my god, that was a marathon. I mean, no one the boy the boyhood dream has come true after the Iron Man match. I'm sorry, Sean, that one was already said. Mm. I'm so so nothing sorry. Nothing adds nothing I can do. I, I gave it my all. I did my best, and I'm just happy that the fans still accept me and embrace me. And I'll, I'll come back. I'll get them next time. <laughs> you went bell to bell, sir. The final scores then as they stand. Uh so Colt four. Um Sean got that and Tempest got that. So Final scores, then, um, are as follows. In last place with 12, it's Sully Bo Brown. Yes. In fourth place with 14, it's Denise Salcedo. In third place with 25, it's Colt Cabana. In second place with 35, it's Sean Ross Zapp. In first place with 37 points. And new Quizzle Mania champion. And what a win, Tempest the wrestler oh you're going to be absolutely insufferable mm -hmm. um right um thank you that's that's basically the 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 main body of the show folks uh we're gonna spend the rest of the time answering your ultra chat if anyone needs to go just let me know of course i otherwise i'm gonna jump into any ultra chats is that all cool with everybody bye um, thank bye. you guys bye. <laughs> bye, bye, i'm gonna i'm gonna do the Hogan. I'm going to bow out. And while I leave, everybody's going to be watching me leave instead of the new champion. Or at least that's what <laughs> I'll say. That's fair. Are you, uh, are you off, Sean? Good. I am. All right. Thank you so much for being here, Sean. You're a, you're a very nice man. Fightfulselect.com. Subscribe. <laughs> Colt, give me all the scoops. Thanks. <laughs> all yeah, right. Um, on that note, Adam, what were what was left? Because oh, it, uh, it was that match, and then I had nothing. Uh, John Moxley, Kenny Omega, unsanctioned lights out match at Full Gear 2019. Uh, Lucha Brothers mm. uh, versus Young Bucks, the Escalera, Escalera de la Muerte. Um, so the ladder match at All Out 2019. And finally, uh, FTR versus Kenny Omega and Adam Page at All Out mm. 2020. That was it. That's right. That's that was right. it. That's impressive, boys. Anyway, Asa Don says, hey, guys, it's my 19th birthday coming up this Sunday, the 13th. Shout out to any birthday twins uh, I have in the chat or Gemini's in particular, for we are the superior Zodiac sign. Question, if not your own, what Zodiac sign do you act most like? Love you guys. I barely even know what Zodiac sign I am. Uh, oh, I act more like... Um... I don't know. There's a Brutus Beefcake joke in there somewhere. You can do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I've given you the setup. Yep. You guys finish it it's up. In, you do the punchline. It's like, yeah, <laughs> ordering a, like, a make-at-home kit from a restaurant. There's the ingredients. <laughs> Go nuts. Yes, no, no, yes. The Creepy Otaku. Sorry, Adam. Peanut butter and pickle sandwiches are the bomb, mate. Preston Fairmont says, Adam, thank you for your list of rules for host hosting a board game night. Hosting one of my own took your words to heart. Yes, kids are terrible. I have none, but I do have a Corgi, and I'm concerned his presence could be detrimental. Please advise. Corgis are the most precious creatures in the whole world. Uh, do nothing. But uh, yes, give the... Don't have a board game night and spend it cuddling your corgi instead. I wish I had a corgi. Nate S says, Sean, you should know by now if you want to be a super baby face on this stream, bring out the cats and the doggos. Let's see them. Boom that boom and jam that jam. 
Brock says, do you think we'll ever have anyone fill the monster role as good as old school Kane did? I feel like Kayfe being dead makes that impossible. The Fiend is the closest I've seen in a while. Interesting. Uh, well, as a company shill, I would say, uh, I think Lance Archer is always really good at like keeping that up. And um, yeah, recently his new thing is just beating people and then just leaving before the, uh, before the, um, the instant replay even happens. <laughs> Watch AEW Dark. He's been doing a couple of those. And yeah, I think Lance Archer's cool. Everybody dies. Yeah. Alex Swanson says, Hi, Scotty Gold member. Hi, Darkest Timeline, Selena Gomez. Hi, a human version of the Charmin Bears. Hi, Canadian Mysterio. Hi, Lord and Savior SRS. Hi, Daddy Adam. Uh, Boston Ninja says, Hi, Denise. Maybe the reason we won't root for you is because you didn't add to the Splook and Adam Blamplate family. Maybe actually try and get over. Ha, <laughs> just kidding, by the way, Tempest. We Colorado a Avalanche fans, except all bandwagon Maple Leaf fans. Oh, give me one second on that note. He's got a jar of pickles he's going to bring. <laughs> he's going to eat them slowly. Maple leaf jersey? Nope. My yeah, Colorado avalanche. avalanche hat. Very nice. Uh, Keith I'll Pelosi's hop on up. your bandwagon. Let's go. Giddy up. <laughs> I like Nathan McKinnon. Look how happy you are to be champion, Tempest. You love to see it's it. Been a, it's been a while. Been a while. Keith Fellow says, I've been called so many names for liking pineapple on pizza, and Tempest brings us peanut butter and pickles. This is not how I wanted to spend my Wednesday night. Uh, Colt, thoughts on uh, pineapple on pizza? Uh, this gets brought up in my Twitch a lot, by the way, twitch.tv slash Colt Cabana. I, I think it's gross, but you know what? If that's what you like, you're. I'm not going to like talk down to you about it. That's fair. Mm. But it is it is a lot of fun to talk down to. Uh, just curious, says Adam. All I want is Simon Miller on Quiz of Mania. Is that possible? If it is, make it happen. If it isn't, slap your head and say why. Uh, Chris Rains has just donated five dollars. Uh, Trevor says it's Wednesday. You know what that means, Adam. If it wasn't for you, how I would book videos back at WC, I wouldn't have gotten back into wrestling. Thank you for everything you do, Tempest. Sorry about your Leafs. My canes didn't last that much longer. Hashtag FTF. James Cosey says question for everyone since we're coming up in that time of the year. Who do you think is taking the top spot on the? PWI 500 this year. For my money, it's a two-man race between Reigns and Omega. No offense to Colt. Ooh, I, I think Roman Reigns probably gets it. I mean, WWE tends to usually get a bit of an edge in PWI, just because more people watch it. But I mean, Roman Reigns has been just awesome this year. It's a, it's a, it is a race between those two for one and two, isn't it? I actually yeah. couldn't call it. Uh, there's only one number one, and that's Evil Uno. He would be it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Knoxville says, Adam, Sully, are there any board games you're really excited about that haven't been released yet? What are you most excited to play together once Board Game Club can happen in person? Well, I think uh, we're all very excited to play Cosmic, Cosmic yeah. Encounter in person. And in terms of like, board games that haven't come out yet, Destinies is a really good one to look out for. If you like app-based games, if you like Mansions of Madness, stuff like that, Destinies. Look it up. It's by Lucky Duck Games. Great. Zach Robinson. Oh, sorry, Sully. Do you have a board game that you're looking forward to? Oh, not a clip. Not a clip. Oh, great. I was gonna, I was gonna Destinies say. sounds great. I look forward to uh, that game's child, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely play a Destiny's Child based board game where you can end up as the one who isn't famous. And you're like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, Zach Robinson says, the best time of the Fortnite has come around once again. Can't wait for Sully to finally take home the gold. Sully Mania running wild. Subscribe to No Rolls Bars, Sully the Clockmaker. Wilson Simon says, hell yeah, Sully. Chelsea is the champions, baby. Do you think the real American nightmare, Christian Pulisic, should have been starting? Christian Pulisic, uh, an uh, excellent American uh, uh, soccer player. Mm -hmm. um, um, he absolutely brilliant. Um, well, I, I don't think he should have started because we won without him starting, but he is a fantastic player. I love him. I love him. He's great. And he's American. He's did great. you did you know that I voiced uh, an Adidas commercial with all the top stars of footy? That's amazing. No, it's, it's a true. It, it, it only it only played in the UK, and I was like. It was very pro a professional thing done, and uh, I had to be like Messier. I don't even know. I don't even know. I didn't know any of their names. <laughs> Messier. That was so so close. Lionel, that's, Lionel Messier. That's a hockey so player. Clear. Yeah, that is a Mark hockey player. Mark Messier. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, maybe what? Maybe I'll look for it while you guys chat. I can try to find it. Uh, NRB meme says, "Let's go, Sully." Hashtag hot dog. Also, Colt would never steer us wrong. I have pickles. I have peanut butter. I think I have to turn heel. Tony says, "Hey, first time I've been able to watch live due to a new job. Uh, what advice do you have for someone wanting to start in wrestling reporting?" Ooh, um, Learn how to report. Like, don't just get into it being like, I'm going to write about wrestling on the internet. Like, try and maybe not, like, take courses on journalism and media literacy and stuff like that. Because there are so many people who will get into it just because they want to type up 150 words about what happened on Raw. But hmm. there's a lot more to it if you want to do it well. And I would absolutely. assume that's what you want to do. The etiquette of journalism, absolutely. You want to treat it yeah. like you're covering anything. Uh, yeah. uh, Chris Hutchins says, hi, everyone. Uh, great to see uh, Colt Cabana on here. I absolutely loved his tag match on AEW Dark. The sequence of the Hurricane Rana to Dan Barry was fantastic. The roll-up pin sequence from Dan, as well as where he flipped Colt Cabana for a minute. I loved every second of it. Yeah, Dan Barry uh, made his debut on AEW Dark. Very cool. That's very cool. Laugh Track says, can't watch live tonight, so just want to leave an ultra chat with a question. What's been your favorite Quizomania moment so far? Mine have been the tightest running joke and the pigeon story. Good luck to all, and hopefully Denise won't be so sad about coming last. I mean, Denise's um, silly plates that she makes. Denise made a, a plate that looked like me and a, also a spoon that looked like Luke. So that's just a little <laughs> bit good. of fun. Mm. Yeah, it's very funny. Uh, it... A more recent one, uh, Steve's impression of William Regal. Oh my god, that... it's amazing! I've gone back it. and rewatched that just to look at everyone's facial reactions when he does it, because everyone has a different reaction. It's great. Uh, Chris Hutchins says, "I'm pulling for Sully. It feels like SRS is Austin. Sully is the Rock, and it's WrestleMania 19. Sully is finally going to be <laughs> SRS tonight on the grandest stage. Everyone, subscribe to Fightful Select so SRS can move away from this sinkhole near his house." Kazoo John says, "Just out of curiosity, how many of you remember your university fight songs?" My main reason for asking is because I share my alma mater with Mr. Cabana. It's a great day to be a Bronco. Hashtag Jam that Jam FTF WMU. Yeah, I went to Western Michigan University, and I just found out that someone was the largest donation to a, a university, I think in history. Someone donated $550 million to Western Michigan University in their will or whatever, and they were like, oh, we're going to give it to this place, and, and we're going to give it to this, like the science wing and whatever. And I was like, why don't you send everybody ever to college for free? <laughs> yeah. 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 It pissed me yeah, off so much. <laughs> Pay off the student loans of all the students. Yes, instead. that'll do it. Yeah. But no, he's giving it so they can give more money to the football players. Get out of here. I was going to ask how much of that money is going to you, Colt. <laughs> I nothing. Hey, I found this link. Where, where can I send this link? Uh, if you send it to... Should I put it in the YouTube chat? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do that. That'd be great. All right. So this is... Well, I don't want everyone going to it and not watching this. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't oh. mind people taking a five minute to go and <laughs> go and watch that. That's fine. Actually, if you send me the link, I can put it in the in the description or or somewhere. We can get our mods to kind of put it in in places. Eh, well, I'll put it in the chat, but it it's it's unlisted on my YouTube channel, so it is part of my Patreon. But I want everyone to see it. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, uh, let amazing. Just, let me just send that to our mods. There you go, mods. Check the ultra chat doc. There it is. Give it. Links don't. <laughs> work in the chat unless we put it there we'll put a pop it in the description get people to refresh give it a give it a go mm. we'll make it work use your magic thank you mod mother you're the tiny, best tiny youtube it tiny url it or whatever yeah uh that's a good point yeah tiny url that's a good jump uh owen says uh question do 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 Question for the room of all the uh, recently released WWE stars, uh, who's going to be sort of the poster child for this batch of releases? For me, where WWE Women's Tag Team Division deserves deserves to be buried in chance of Ruby Riot. That's really interesting. I mean, like I've seen a lot of people kind of rallying to how great Ruby Riot is. For me, uh, it's uh, No Way Jose. I would say. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Like I mean, he's got the catchiest chant name uh Ooh. daniel says cult we still don't truly know what your favorite fast food place is Un enlightened as mr <laughs> boom of the boom well it has been officially oh, there we go it's been officially ultra chatted now so you have to give us the uh you have to give us the answer you didn't like my thing. joke answer of pizza hut uh 
I don't. Oh, a Subway. Subway's my favorite for sure. Oh, and for fresh. Yeah, for years people would give me. At one point, I had so. At one point, my art of wrestling was so popular, and I would be like, I eat Subway on the road. I had like over three hundred dollars in Subway gift cards just in my wallet, like a stack this thick. Fans would come to the shows and give me gift cards. It was so great. (laughs) Uh, Nitz N says, "Hey, Sully, love the coffee mug. How did you celebrate Chelsea winning the Champions League?" Oh, I jumped up and down a lot, uh, at least five or six times. And I went, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That was it. Pretty much. Oh, hot dog. Uh, hot Evan dog. the Canadian Giant says, heat wave here. Everyone's being very sluggish, sluggish, but I still made it for Quizzle Mania featuring MJF's dad. Also, thanks you to WrestleTalk and Mr. Cabana for showing me my new favorite comedy match versus Toriano. Good times. Great memories. Indeed. Yes. That's uh, Mr. JF, please. Thank you. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> put some respect on the name matthew says message for colt any memories of progress wrestling chapter one at the time must have seemed like another uk booking but they went on to become one of the biggest promotions in the uk massive fan of your work also uh yes i was a a little blown away like i was at my podcast was at its hottest i was at my hottest i i I like to think that i helped draw that house and then then i i uh i lost to a guy who it was his second match so oh, really? uh, I'm glad the book, I'm glad the booking got a little bit better um, <laughs> as time went on, but his second match, his second what? match. And you know what I said? Sure. Whatever you want. Uh, uh, very, good that, very much so. As long as I said, Hey Adam, quick question. Have you thought about starting a D and D campaign on no rose bard? If not, why not try to press your throwing out there? Keep up the good work. Maybe, maybe one day. Um, but at the moment, like, yeah, it, we don't want to kind of put something out there that'll just last forever and ever and ever uh we're still working out how we're filming stuff so we'll we'll leave the long running stuff for a bit eddie says srs is kurt angle in 1999 you do not boo a quizomania champion by in the stream he'll be talking about something that gives your quizomania champion great joy the joy of anti-celibacy great to see scotty goldman back on his feet uh misha Sumra says denise is lovely sully's adorable but i'm hashtag team tempest tonight the gospel of pb and p has spread even to bbc sports coverage specifically the cricket live text lost intangibles to quizomania 444 life james yes, getter says sir. adam because of you and your darned no rolls barred crew i've fallen deep down the tabletop gaming uh, well in fact i just purchased the necessary stuff to start my own DD campaign any tips mm. for a first time dm starting a game with a first time player well i'm not a very good dm in fact i've only done it twice um but i would mm. say message uh, at cbw creative on yeah. twitter that is the cre- that is the twitter handle of tom burgess who um does basically any he's run any rpg that i've ever been a part of and he's fantastic cult or or brandon cutler who's an amazing dungeon master or dragon master what i would call it obviously <laughs> i think we're 20 games in i still don't know anything about dungeons and dragons but <laughs> critical botch uh yeah uh, i play also and i think brandon cutler is amazing absolutely mm-hmm. have to give it the shout um tina k says able to make quiz the mania this afternoon yay love and hugs to everyone looking forward to a great quiz tina from seattle joseph Ray says, hey guys went back and watched adam's surprise returns list and it got me thinking which crowd singing pop was better enter the sandman or judas oh enter the sandman yeah. man like that footage is just unbelievable uh, also, yeah. Colt, are you looking to train any want any wannabe wrestlers, or can you suggest any great training locations? Uh, you know, I, I I'll tr- go train sometimes over at Freelance Wrestling School in Chicago. I never want to be a full time trainer ever. Um, but also, I would recommend Tampa, Florida. Matt Seidel and Jay Lethal are both within like a mile of each other training there. So you'd be a fool not to go to Tampa. I think um, Sean Spears and um, uh tyler breeze breeze uh train they have a school called flatbacks yep. and um uh the Cre- creator pro has already put seven wrestlers into aew i believe if wow. you live in long island or new jersey that's ran by pat buck who's a wwe producer and brian myers who's an impact wrestling star, uh, nice. impact wrestling star that is a fantastic hit rate already. Uh, Daniel says, Adam, want to know your thoughts and a suggestion. If someone gets the price exactly right on the price is shite, they could get an extra point. I'll think about it. I didn't expect it to happen, but it happened a whole bunch tonight. Uh, <laughs> Andrew Purdy says, how is Temp Test going to cover up the massive erection he got from Colt waxing lyrical on pickle and peanut butter sandwiches? Colt on Blood in the Clock Tower as well. I'd call it can't miss, but I'd never miss it 
anyway. Uh, B-Dub says, Denise, I have to admit that while I've largely been indifferent to Taylor Swift, I overheard Cardigan the other day and it's actually become a guilty pleasure of mine. No shame. Just please don't get a big head over it too late. Mean. Trey Knight 94 says, good evening, everyone. I have a question. Who is everyone's favorite commentator of all time? Mine's good old JR. He always made moments feel way bigger and his passion shined with each performance. I am team Tempest all the way. JR's a fantastic shout. Um, his teaming with Paul Heyman is my favorite commentary team of all time. Like, I love those guys together. So, yeah, I, I, I think that's fair. Uh, everyone knows that I'm a huge world of sport nerd. So, Ken Walton to me is the best. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. What a yeah. what a deep cut. Love to hear it. Um, Sully, your favorite? J JR. I, it, 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 he just made everything sound way more serious. He actually, it, 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 rather than just being, it didn't feel like a show when JR was doing it. That's why he was so good. And he's still doing it. He's still bloody doing it. He's doing it very well. On yeah. AEW every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. 7 o'clock. You watch it. It's very good. It's very <laughs> good. I, I would probably <laughs> say JR as well. I, I'll, I'll throw another name out there just to give him a pop. It's uh, Kel Kevin Kelly as well. His work in New Japan for like the last decade has just been. For sure. Like the Kevin best, Kelly. the best. Very right underrated, now. Kevin Kelly. Yeah. And I, also, sorry, Adam, but uh, no, I, please, I, I, he's not in the conversation yet, but he might be in 20 years. Ian Riccoboni for Ring of Honor, guy I worked with, obviously, for a couple of years, mm -hmm. is so fun to listen to and uh, somebody that you shouldn't sleep on. Absolutely. Or sleep with. <laughs> he's married. He's married. He's married. <laughs> uh, John Carlo Rivera says, hey, Adam, I know you loved uh, having pets on the stream, so I want to see a reaction of my little ones. I sent pics of my doggo on Twitter. My username is John Carl, two, five, a bunch of numbers. Uh, hashtag jam that jam, hashtag FTF, hashtag Hollywood Salcedo, hashtag Sully is the best. I shall look up after the stream because doggos are the best. I have a, a Discord with my Twitch, and there's a, um, a section for pet parade because I like to see everyone's pets also. I know. It's the best. <laughs> um I can't believe you don't have pets, Sully. You are, you are the quintessential kind of pet-owning person. You look like you've got a fleet of dogs. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't own any pets, but my family do, and they own too many. We live in London, and we have rabbits. We've got chickens. We've got ducks. We've got geese. You know, we don't have geese, but we do have ducks, and we've got <laughs> we've got cats. We used to have dogs. They they went a long time ago, but it, 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 we've got too many pets. It's a you don't have a rooster, do you? No, that's no. that's heat with me. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you what, we used to have roosters and they were a nightmare. Yeah, so, yeah, they are. I I live in London, in bloody London, and I basically live on a farm. Stupid. <laughs> Uh, Dh train twenty four says Sully and Denise on the same stream with F and Cult. I'm sending this. I'm sending this at work. We'll watch it later. Great lineup. Also, I still want my outfuck everyone shirt. I need this today. Thanks, guys. Nate Williams says uh, tonight on the Wrestling Map Pod, we're recording a show with AEW's Danny Limelight. But today got even better when I remembered Quizzle Mania is on. Much love to you all. Steal that title, Denise. Uh, Josh Jake Wright says first Ultra Chat just to say thanks for a great time every time. You're all good folks, and it's nice to have a laugh every time. Sully, you're one of the most wholesome some people i've seen around the internet wish you well pal same to all of you in the us and uk both brad says first time i managed to catch this live loving the show just seen sully's mug is he a chelsea fan champions of europe thanks yes. for the constant entertainment everyone yeah believe it or not sully is a chelsea fan uh yeah. christian says had my first peanut butter pickle sandwich then i had my second i must say i enjoy it quite a bit sorry adam um and then Listen, uh, <laughs> what do i gotta do to get you to try a peanut butter and pickle sandwich, Adam, because you will enjoy it. You get on a plane and you come over and you make me one. <laughs> That's what you have to do. Bet. <laughs> Bet. I'll do it. I'll do it. You make it for me, I will eat it. Um, and Sully, are you evil? Uh, yeah, yeah, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Spamlet wow. that says so excited to see Colt Cabana on Quizomania next you should try and get Conrad Thompson I donate any amount of money to see that love the show love you all thanks for the show hashtag jam that jam FM says hi big fan of the WrestleTalk family in Quizomania question for Colt you often hear stories about locker rooms and promotions being very strict about locker room etiquette how traditional slash strict is the AEW locker room hashtag boom that boom well it is very relaxed in the sense of it's it, it was born based off of, you know, a bunch of wrestlers who were like, take the young bucks, like, you know, that whole story with the handshake and they're like, this is so dumb. So 
you know, they're like, that stuff is dumb. So that in that way, like we try not to give everyone like heat for little things. It's just like, come just wrestle and be awesome. But in any wrestling locker room, you do have to have that chain of respect. You have to, you can't just like, it's just, it's kind of like life or any workplace. So you kind of hmm. think of it that way. If you were able, if, if you were just new to a place and someone had been there for 20 years, you can't just be like, screw off. You know, you have to show them some kind of respect. Yeah, for sure. You can't just walk into the office and start big leaguing the boss. Right. You know, <laughs> that's, it's just life. Uh, Speedpunk says cheese nip are not better than cheese its. Uh, Wright says so napper, huh? Uh, James says, hey, Colt, I remember watching What's Cracking with Scotty Goldman on WWE.com when I was in high school. Question for everyone What's your opinions on Gherkins on a Big Mac? Oh, I thought their question for everyone was what's everyone's favorite Scott, uh, What's Cracking episode? <laughs> <laughs> I watched that show too. Those those days uh, when it was the dirt sheet and word up with uh, crime time, man, that was a good age for like just the content that they sometimes would put a spotlight on on WWE.com, but often wouldn't. Mm. It's good stuff. Uh, yeah, Rage pickles on Big Mac though. Pickles oh. on yeah, pickles on a, a Mc, any a pickles on McDonald's. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pickles on any yeah, burger. That's, Very that's happy fun. with that. Uh, Ridgelac says, hey there, Colt Cabana. Uh, hopefully you've been shown the Andy holla holla. But no, hang on a second. Um, holla, holla, holla. There you go. That's what that is. <laughs> is that a Jewish list. thing? <laughs> no, that's... No, <laughs> I, I don't, Imagine. Let me, you... let me double check. Holla, holla, holla. No. You know what the Jewish bread is called, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um... I, <laughs> No, that's just that's that's him doing Kelly Kelly's theme whilst dressed as a pimp. Um, yeah, so now 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 Cole's been shown that. <laughs> Here we go now. Just pitch for Johnny from New Legacy on Quizomania. Boom, boom. Uh, Six feet below hell says, "How perfect is a nipple category for Joey Janella? First time donating. Uh, just glad you're back, Adam. Absolutely love all the parts for known NRB content. Hashtag boom that boom. Out fuck everyone. Sully, are you evil? Jim Bob says, "Colt, you like that side boob? You shouldn't. That's my side boob." Uh, <laughs> the creepy, <laughs> creepy Ataki says, "Hey, Sully, can you say this man knows nips again, please? I need a new notification sound." <laughs> This man knows nips. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Uh, Brian Doyle says, hey, guys, hope you're all doing well. Getting vaccinated is very important. Also, a question for everyone. What's your biggest wrestling pet peeve? P.S. Give this money to Tempest so you can get a mask that actually fits. Properly. It's on the way. It's in the mail. Hopefully by the next show, I'll have it. Biggest wrestling pet peeve. Um, There's lots to choose from. Yeah, it changes very often. Right now, Pete and I on our review podcast, the thing that winds us up the most is, here's the entrance, ring the bell, commercial. You'd never do that in any form of entertainment. Oh, here's the Oscar, and the Oscar goes to commercial. It comes back, oh, we gave it away already. Here's a replay of us giving away the Oscar, the important part that you want to see on the show. Oh, the play starting in football? Commercial. I think my my biggest pet peeve is when a bit was when like someone plays off a victory like so it's, it's someone gets defeated yeah. but they play off it as not important to them. I that, like WWE used to do that a lot with its kind of main event talent, which is be just like I don't like yeah like the John Cena era of like you beat me, but I'm just gonna do a comedy routine about how big your nipples are and it doesn't matter to me and do like a sort of flip thing that's like that's my biggest pet peeve colt do you have a biggest wrestling pet peeve yeah it's not why aren't the comedy wrestlers the champions and most paid in every promotion <laughs> i just don't get it it makes no sense to me uh the hound 316 says mr cabana on the 21st i will be one year sober any advice for a fellow hey. chicagoan that's 31 and wants to step into a ring now that i finally kicked the bottle any school recommendations thank you you're all lovely people even srs oh any chicago schools yeah for like i said freelance wrestling it's um i train there every now and then and uh i totally endorse um uh bryce who Bryce benjamin who's the trainer there and uh, I highly recommend it. And congratulations. I know that's hard being a year sober. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations, the Hound 316. Rick Fest says the People's Champ is back. And of course, I'm talking about Sully, who is most definitely not evil. Great to see uh, Colt make his debut on Quizomania, too. What are his thoughts on working with Grado in ICW? My favorite. My favorite. He's uh, the funniest, the best. And uh, what a time it was to be a Scottish wrestling fan 
I think, uh, what would you say, 2013 to 2017, 2018? Sounds like a good era. Yeah, right? that era of ICW. They were just like, after the Vice documentary, after everything, it's just like getting Angle in uh, and like selling out the Hydro, I think it was. Like, obviously, they've done it multiple mm -hmm. times now. But yeah, no, they were on the map. Really? And I was, I was, what a pleasure it was. Well, how cool it was for me also to be, I was, you know, I was featured in that BBC documentary uh right after the vice documentary so that was and that was great when i wrestling in Edinburgh. it was the first fringe i had ever done and then it was also the first great versus colt match it was so cool no way that's fantastic Ooh. uh becky mcr has just donated but no message uh moggy mog says colt pickle and pea and, and peanut butter nutella and peanut butter for the win nutella and peanut butter or nutella what? and pickles is that what you meant oh actually no, it says Colt. Yeah, so it says Colt pickle and peanut butter. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Nutella and peanut butter for the win. Actually, yeah, chocolate and peanut butter does go well yeah. together, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, so that makes they're, sense. They're both good, but the world isn't ready for the peanut butter and pickle sandwich. And I'm trying to change that. You're it's a pioneer. Time to, it's time to abandon what you think works <laughs> in a sandwich. <laughs> this is the future. We're heading into a new world, a new era of civilization. And one that you can truly enjoy a peanut butter and pickle sandwich. This one's kind of stale because it's been here for three hours, but I'll eat it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I ate mine so fast. You are taking your sweet ass time. <laughs> uh, bring AEW to Scotland once Glasgow stops sticking around, says Moggy Mog. Uh, got my nips chopped off by Colt, says amazing to see Colton Quizzlemania. He was the highlight of my Edinburgh Fringe Festival for the two years I lived there. I was lucky enough to be brought up on stage by him in 2017 and get chopped by him twice. Love Pizza oh. Express guy, aka Donna. Oh, amazing. Um, oh, my God. I've got, yeah, I was chopped. I've only been chopped by a wrestler twice. Once for my birthday. That was Primate. Thanks, Primate. And the mm. other one was Rampage in the only match I've ever wrestled. And those marks did not leave my skin for a week. And I don't want a wrestler to chop me ever again. Please. Hey, what what was Primate's uh, name when he was just a fan? Don't know. Is this a joke? I it's can't. Joke. Oh, okay. What was Primate's <laughs> name was. when he was just a fan? Uh, Primark. Uh. <laughs> God damn it. Shiva Wilding says WWE versus AEW dream matches are oft spoken about. So, question for everyone dream opponent for Colt Cabana, currently appearing Raw, SmackDown, NXT, or NXT UK. Mine is Shah Samuels. Oh, that would be a great match in a battle of the former British heavyweight champions. Uh, Colt, do you, have a, do you have a dream match from Across the Forbidden Door? Uh, well, I wrestled. Me and Shaw wrestled uh, for Rev, for the Rev Pro Championship, and it's a lot of people's favorite match to this day. It's one of my favorite too. Uh, who would I like to wrestle? Uh, I don't know. Otis. I, I mean, I, I <laughs> yeah, I'd pay great to see match. It. I'd pay to see that. Definitely. There you go. Uh, ben says hi everyone great stuff but as a long time Cabana fan I'd be remiss if I didn't ask Colt uh, if he has any memories of his involvement in the Jimmy Loves Lacey angle and his Windy City death match with Jimmy Jacobs one of the best matches I've ever seen live uh, yeah I, I invited my chiropractor and my chiropractor's girlfriend who later became his wife to that show not thinking about like they were just like two innocent people and then we, I bled all over the place. In that match. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thinking back, I was like, why? That must have been so horrific. And this woman who had never seen wrestling or knew anything about it was just like, yeah, my chiropractor is my friend. Like, yeah, my friend brought me to this thing where his friend bled buckets. It was very weird. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, Robert Stocks still says, Adam, you made a big impact on my life getting me into board games. Love the content. Please keep it up. Also give us an NRB Discord, Discord server already and a Chinatown board game club the moment you can get it together. Love you, Sully. Uh, Braden Fletcher said, just want to ask Tempest how Willie Styles helped Toronto in the playoffs. Also, Sully is such a lovely man. Well, I mean, Willie Styles did a fantastic job. He was one of about only three fucking Maple Leafs that showed up in this series. I'm not putting any of this on him. It's the other guys, the ones that make uh, $11 million, who scored a combined one goal in seven games. Damn, man. Damn. Juan Villa says, greetings from Chicago, or more specifically, Logan Square. So, Colt, will there be any meet and greet with AEW at Pro Wrestling Tees during All Out Weekend? Uh, I know AEW is doing a fan fest or uh, some version of that for themselves. Uh, so, at the very least, I will probably be at Pro Wrestling Tees hanging out, and you can get my autograph there if you want. 
Uh, Flame Inc. says, when are we getting the worst of the worst? Quizomania this way, Sean gets a week off. Denise gets another payday. Oily gets a chance to win. Whoever else is lower. Also, Adam, would you give a Quizomania win to Denise if she destroys Blam Plate? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Jamer50 <laughs> says, just wanted to donate and say, I've loved this. It's cheered me up during some truly rough times. Much love to you all. Also, I'm sure Tempest agreed to get a jam that jam tattoo. Where is the tattoo, Tempest? As soon as tattoo shops are open, I promise you, the first day, and it might be soon because Ontario's starting to reopen on Friday. If I can get into a tattoo shop in like the next week, I will get it because the design is done. It's going to happen. It's not been forgotten about. Don't worry. Uh, Adam Pearson says, hey, gang, great to see you all. And thank you, as always, for bringing up my Wednesday. My question is, which pro wrestler, other than those on the show, would you most like to, <laughs> to make you a sandwich and why? <laughs> <laughs> a fantastic question. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't like Tempest to make me a sandwich, and I've got reservations about Colt making me a sandwich now. Hmm. I know well, this is a gonna... hard one. Wait, was it what wrestler would you want to make you a sandwich? Yeah, yeah. That's easy. Oh yeah. The but the butcher. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Very very good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Connor Mace has just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone at Parts for Unknown and all other channels in the IWC have helped me get through my struggles with mental health. P.S. Who would win the match? The little girl who fought Omega or the Ibushi blow up doll? <laughs> oh, the little girl. She's an absolute demon. She took uh, Kenny Omega to a draw, right? A time limit draw, I think. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah, I think so. Dirty Rich. Dirty Rich here rooting for SRS to hit that fifth consecutive title retention. Sean, call my mum back. I'm tired of making excuses for you. Also, don't forget Tyson gets his blood on the lips. Denise wears bland plate, but uh, not dead. If you ever get the Good Brothers back on, you should also try and get on Matt Cardona and Brian uh, Brian Myers. They would rule the uh, the prices shite, especially about action figures. Go SRS, join the Dark Order. David Jacob says, "Don't know if my last uh, donation came through. Just want to spread uh, love to you guys as I strive to my dream of losing weight." Uh, Cole, could you tell your story of your worked punches with Road Warrior Hawk at WrestleMania 13? Yeah, it's a pretty famous one. I was seventh row on the aisle, Chicago Street Fight. I just wanted to be a wrestler so bad i was 16 years old road warrior hawk was the closest person to me and i knew it was anything goes and so i started throwing some punches you would think i wouldn't punch the team that was in from chicago but <laughs> i had to be a part of the match and he was the one closest to me so i threw four worked punches never got thrown out i told the story in my podcast years later someone found it on youtube and now it's free for everyone to see no way. <laughs> uh, Almanac says, we need a Grado versus Cole ICW style entrance off in AEW. That was the highlight of going to a wrestling show in Edinburgh during a vacation in the UK. Deckchair92 says, love to see Cole on here. I met you at the Edinburgh Fringe a couple of years ago and your show was hilarious. Question for everyone. What's everyone's favorite shit movie that's not The Room? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the Cats. Room's my go -to. Cats is Cats. fucking <laughs> dreadful. Very good Cats show. Cats is awful. Oh, yeah. What? What? Oh, it's it's a horrible film. It's a weirdly sexual film as well. <laughs> it's so weirdly sexual. Oh. Well, my I mean, my favorite movie of, of all time is Over the Top, and some people think that's not the best movie, but it's the best. <laughs> uh, recap: Drake says a few. Actually, um, Cole, are you what shirt are you wearing there? Oh, there you go. There you go. That's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> you saw it. You can peek it out, huh? Yeah, I saw it. Just by that, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, recap Drake says, a few uh, weeks ago, someone asked what your dream match would be. Uh, so A few weeks ago, someone asked what your dream match that would be a complete disaster in the ring would be. Uh, in honor of my passing, in honor of his passing, my submittal is New Jack versus... Uh, oh, I'm not going to read the rest of this one. Sorry. Sorry, gang. Um, uh, William Buna says, hope this ages well. Congrats to SRS for beating down that dastardly heel Temptist. Uh, Invisible Gherkin said, left my customer service job earlier this week because it messed with my anxiety. And it turns out people are a-holes. Who knew? Thanks for helping me through lockdown, BTW. Uh, the Zorni says, it's nice to be reminded how good looking Colt is. Thanks a lot for the entertainment. And I tried pickles or gherkin, as we say in German, and peanut butter. And it is great. L-I-W-444 life. I can't stress this enough. It's it's not even one or two people in a mix. Every single person who's ever tried this sandwich and reported back to me has loved it. 
Uh, Jaden Jones says, hi guys, thanks for the entertainment getting me through uh, today. After my cat passed earlier today, watching you guys with Rory was some of my favorite memories with him. Let's go, Colt Cabana. Uh, my uh, condolences to you, Jaden. I know that must be such a horrible thing, but uh, thank you. Uh, we hope that we could be a distraction. And thank you for watching. Uh, Brian Daw says, uh, Colt, whatever happened to Matt Classic? Is he working at El Generico's orphanage or is he still wrestling in some obscure indie territory somewhere? Oh, he's in the basement doing squats right now as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nolan the Hybrid Evans says, hello, everyone. Question for everyone. Uh, favorite title design post-2010? Hey, boom, boom. Tell New Legacy I said hi. Uh, genuinely, like, I think the AEW Championship is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. that's not even me being a kiss ass. It's, it's a very, very good looking title belt indeed. Yeah, I love, like, going into Kenny's locker room and just seeing it. It's cool. Yeah. Every every time I see it, I'm yeah. like, damn. Yeah, I'd, I like, uh, I like, I'd say, yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Sully. Oh, I was just gonna say, I like the AEW Tag Championships as well. Actually, I think they're very pretty. Ooh, the <laughs> snake cool. skin leather on the back is very nice Ooh. touch. Uh, I'd say the uh, the white strapped Intercontinental IWGP title. I love Ooh. a good white strap. Mm. May it rest uh, in peace. Astronautical says, hey, uh, happy Quizlemania Day, everyone. You folks bring joy, especially Sully, because he's made a pure sunshine and delightful old uncle energy. <laughs> Here we go, Sully. <laughs> old uh, uncle energy. Old uncle energy. <laughs> Kurt Blackett <laughs> says, uh, Denise and Little Pudding officially dying. Also, Colt is awesome. Hashtag join Dark Order. Swizz has said, seriously, I just tried a peanut butter and pickle sandwich, and how does this work? Why is it so good? <laughs> Jake Waterworth says, morning from a new PFK patron. Would love to say I'm here for Colt, but I'm really here for Sully. Thanks for everything you do. It's nice to have some positive yeah. wrestling content, especially when we're all very mad. Um, Hannah Allen says, just want to thank each of you for filling my life with so much joy and entertainment. I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lots of love. Jam that jam. Spread the love. Sky Luna says, I wish I could join the peanut butter and pickle sandwich club, but sadly I'm allergic to peanuts. Tempest, do you have an alternative sandwich that doesn't involve peanuts? <laughs> also, I always have to root for my fellow Chicagoan cult. I do not. I do not. That is the one <laughs> excuse I will I will allow in terms of this sandwich. If Don't kill yourself eating a peanut butter and pickle sandwich. I will not be held responsible. Uh, Zach Robinson says, are there any plans to live stream more NRB content, especially Board Game Club, 10 hour stream is so much fun. Would love to see uh, SRS and Sully play fake artists with some wages or snake oil together, kiss my grits. 2.63, Johnny High Jump, Bobby Little Legs. Absolutely, everyone go and subscribe to No Rolls Bud. We'll do more live stream mm -hmm. content. Sure, yeah, probably. Uh, Bacon yeah. Rasher says, hey guys, quick question. Will we get Cage, Page, Page and Cage in a cage on Rampage? Cage is full of rage mm -hmm. against Taz. Page saved Cage recently, and I'm not sure Page with Sky, Page should be with Cage. Other Page with Dark Order and Cage is a single ftf that wasn't even a question <laughs> but well done sir ricardo says saturday is my birthday can i get a shout out also colt what's your biggest match that never happened uh happy birthday to you ricardo uh, shout out for saturday and yes colt over to you um I'll, I'll, this is for the the old school wrestling fans but i was supposed to wrestle in czw back in like 2002 when it was like at its hottest and um ian rotten wouldn't let us go to CZW because my dream match was against Two Cold Scorpio, and he had booked Two Cold Scorpio. He said, "If you go and wrestle for CZW, I'm not. I'm going to book someone else for Two Cold Scorpio." So I was like, "Fine." And then I didn't even get get to wrestle Two Cold Scorpio. I tagged with Two Cold Scorpio. So, uh, Lol Mike Peterson says, "Colt Cabana is my mom's favorite wrestler." Also, hi, Colt. <laughs> That's nice. the first time. <laughs> Bacon Rash says, roses are red, violets are blue. Ollie's not here. He's gone for a poo out of his huge, hairy, implanted ass. Uh, FTF and where are our OFETs, please? Babyface SRS sucks, by the way. Oh, it's always nice to meet our fans. Uh, William R <laughs> says, I honestly never suspected I'd see SRS Colt double turn tonight. I saw Colt make the save at Revolution 2020. Can't wait to see him show up live at All Out. Jam that jam. Mm. Fuck that fuck. Sully that Sully and all hail the Dong Lord. Uh, Anoy Mouse says, hi, everyone, Denise. I was one advocating to limit Sully's Quesomania appearances to keep him special, but I have to admit having Colt and Sully on the same stream is genius. Colt, I fell in love with you after your matches with Yano. You're so funny. Love you. You know, uh, I, had a, I had a match with Yano in New Japan. That, like I, A lot of people have seen that Ring of Honor one that's on YouTube, but there's one from New Japan that we did that's so... that It was in the um, the tournament, and it was so good. I, I feel... Yeah. I wish it was available to for free on YouTube, but it's not. 
Well, you'll have to subscribe to New Japan World, I suppose, there if you, you want to see it. Uh, Asriel says, always wanted to say hi. Uh, watching from day one, recently been uh, binge Blood in the Clock Tower. Love it. Like three hours on a 10-hour stream. Promised I wouldn't, I would finish it. SRS got me subscribed to Fightful Select. So I wanted to say thanks, but Tempest for the win. Brett J. Rasmussen says, I popped so big when you debuted in AEW Revolution 2020. One of my favorite matches of yours in the Indies was you versus Orange, not spilling a drop of beer. Uh, what was your favorite moment with the Dark Order or in AEW in general? In fact, and also favorite place in Chicago. A couple of questions for Colt there. Oh, sorry. What, what was my favorite Dark Order? Or... Fa favorite moment with the Dark Order or in AEW in general, and favorite place in Chicago. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I just think of Brody right away. So I think of like tagging with Brody, and I, I think of like when he was courting me to be in the Dark Order. Obviously, I'll cherish those uh, moments forever. And my favorite place in Chicago? I don't know. Um, the pro wrestling really? tees. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, Johnny T says, Adam, would you react the same as Shayna Baszler if you saw the bland plate in your mirror? I more violently. And then my mouse says, obligatory love you, Adam. Ultra chat, but while I'm here, Adam, how's it how's it going getting OSW onto the show? Absolutely love those guys. Tempest since uh L I J is shortened to Los Ingo in Japan. Uh, what's the shortening for L I W in Japanese? Los Inter? Los Inter. Uh, hashtag LIW for life. Uh, OSW are very much welcome on the show, but they're busy boys. They, do, they make a great show. Um, Jossenberg says, SRS is the mad. Adam, would you ever do a what if booking? Like what if Chris Hero was in the shield or what if Fight for Fort Wrestle? I'll think about it, but um, I think you stick to you stick, you stick to what works on YouTube. You've chased those views. Uh, SDL Paddy says, well, Tempest doesn't speak French. Good thing the Habs went in this one. At least someone in Toronto gets to raise a trophy. Uh, Shay <laughs> says, uh, congratulations, Tempest. Plus, he's less than 100 from... Uh, you're now less than one... You're now less than 100 subscribers away from 3,000 on your channel. Can you I'm give my... I'm less than 20 subscribers away from 3,000. So hell yeah, go to Tempest of Wrestler, subscribe, get him over 3,000. Happen, let's have it have let's have it happen on the screen. I'm so tired. Of <laughs> <in the night. laughs> oh, damn it! Right, we're we're close to the end here, folks. Here we go. Shay says, "Congrats to Tempest." Uh, just literally just read out that super chat. Can you give my husband Carl a shout out? Tell him how much I love and appreciate him. Shout out, Carl. We love you too. Uh, Mike mm -hmm. Huey says, hi, Adam. Won't be able to watch until the weekend because my local board game store is reopening for an in-person play and recruiting me to run RPG nuts on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I want to send this your way. Love it. PFK and NRB. That's amazing. Drothenberg says, Colt, big fan of yours. You are great. Do you have any great Brody Lee stories? Uh, you were happy about it? Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, that's that's 3,000 subscribers, so thank oh. you all very much. Oh, I see. Right thank, thank you. I thought you were excited <laughs> for the Brody Lee stories. I mean, I'm very happy to hear another Brody Lee story. Um, Brody. I don't think I have anything specific. It's just his charm and his fun in the locker room. It was contagious, and uh, everyone everyone loved being his friend, and um, he was just the greatest. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Brett Storm says, crazy impressive ending. My mind uh, shut oh, my mind shut off trying to think of more AEW pay-per-view matches partway through. All I really remember is the bigger, more memorable ones, which meant I could just appreciate how good SRS and Tempest did. And congratulations to Tempest. Jonathan Hedman said, I heard a story of Colt crashing a homeschool prom. Is that true? Yep. <laughs> and, and at the time, I was, I was doing this thing with uh, Ring of Honor called Good Times, Great Memories, where I would wear a uh, a tuxedo t like a tuxedo t-shirt a cut off tuxedo t-shirt so i had it in my bag and then i was at an indie show and the, like in the same building next door was a was a homeschool prom so i put on my tuxedo t-shirt and i went in and i uh, started dancing my little heart up <laughs> what, what is a homeschool prom it's kids who don't have a kids who don't go to regular school they're homeschooled but they they deserve a prom is, uh, is so, there just like a, a a society of of kids that don't go to I, school like I they all submit to a contact with yeah. you. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe a it, Facebook it, page of some sort. <laughs> it's not so it's not so crazy to imagine the logistics. The homeschool that, board. The clueless on Kiro says, I missed the show due to work, almost spoiled the winner. I've never actually met Colt at a show in my hometown. Funny guy, Colt Cabana, it's yourself. It's yourself. Uh, Declan Malloy 2020, uh, 22 says, Adam, I don't know. I don't, I know you didn't do many of them, but there's no way you could really put it if you did. But I'd love to see uh, a how they should have made the Star Wars sequels. I trust you to actually have a plan. Uh, oh, man. Jo uh, jo Joan Lopez says, as someone in Colorado, I really appreciate the avalanche hat. Also, hi, Colt. Can I join the Dark Order and pick up your guys' chili orders? Chili's sure. order. Uh, Zeke, Just go to the that. website. 
<laughs> yeah. join the dark order.com zeke the freak yes that one says uh never be able to make these live but always catch the rewatch keep up the good work boys also adam say baron corbin was the right guy to retire kurt ankle you got heat bro <laughs> not that i believe it, but i know you hate saying it hey look i i think baron corbin is a terrific wrestler uh i just i i'm a sentimental sod i thought john cena was right there but baron corbin's a great guy I don't know him personally, but he's a great wrestler, is what I meant. He's a great guy. Uh, Sadie 6969 Diego says, now that Sean is gone, let's go bring brain daddy Tempest. The king has taken back his crown. Tempest two time is four, four, four life. I love you, Colt. You're a charisma machine. Your podcast and Twitch streams are the best. Also, I love the fancy and kind man, Sully. Very positive. We love to see the positivity here. Uh, Matthew Maitai says, I had to come back after survival round. Damn, SRS didn't make it, but Tempest versus Lolo is now interesting. Book it. Adam, question for you all. Do you guys want to see a cross-promotion pay-per-view? Which companies could pull it off? I mean, you know, I, I, I won't say that the whole WWE versus New Japan rumors haven't piqued interest, but no, you know, a, a, like a fully a fully promoted AEW versus New Japan would be mm. amazing. I'd like course. to see AEW versus Talk and Shop cross promotion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Purdy says, uh, Colt only lost because he spent the whole game watching cams. Also, Colt, is it true that Eva Luna has to wear a mask because he's too handsome for human eyes to comprehend? Very true. I've uh, actually never, to be honest, I've never seen, this is what he says. I've never seen him without his mask, so. Uh, but he, he tells us that. Sorry, go on. No, no, sorry. <laughs> James Richards says, hey, everyone, I actually met and had a chat with Cole at a Riptide show where a ref unofficially beat Pete Dunne to become WWE UK champion. One of my favorite nights as a wrestling fan. Join the Dark Order. Thanks for everything. I've never heard that story. That sounds that sounds hilarious. Know, but Riptide was such a, such, I, I just did it that one time. I think they did a couple of them, but what a great show that was. Uh, Zach Robinson says, question for Sully, how'd you meet Brooke? From the small snippets we've seen, you both seem really sweet together, and would Brooke be game to do a tag team quiz on Mania with you? <laughs> <laughs> I actually asked her that the other day, and she went, I don't know anything about wrestling, so no. Um, but uh, <laughs> we met at a mutual friend of ours, a Christmas party, and this mutual friend looks like Hagrid from Harry Potter. Uh, he's ah. great fun. Yes, yes. He sounds so like Mc Brian. Was Mc Foley? Yeah, the it fourth was face Mc of Foley. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There I was with Mick Foley. <laughs> Wasn't that Mick a thing Foley. on the A and E show that Mick Foley's mm? Mick Foley's action figure was at a flea market, or he tweeted that, but it was labeled something from Harry. Yeah, Potter. yeah, it was it was mislabeled. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's William Rosmus. It's that's amazing, isn't it? William <laughs> Rosmus says, "What's your favorite cult match? Mine is the Orange Cassidy Beyond Wrestling one, focused around not spilling a beer." Uh, I mean, I love obviously Colt versus Toriano is fantastic, and who could forget Scotty Goldman versus the Great Carly? Just every, every, I'm hoping everyone. <laughs> uh, uh, fantastic, and Jake Evans says my first my first ever ultra chat here, but I had to chime in when I saw the nicest man in pro wrestling was on the show. I met Colt Cabana two years ago at the Fringe when I had no cash on me to buy merch. He trusted me to PayPal him later. True gent. Thanks, bro. Uh, Kane Ward says, board game night with the cousins tomorrow. Just got Mysterium. It's quickly become my favorite, overtaking King of Tokyo. Question, have you played Mysterium Park yet? And if so, would you recommend it? Even if I have the original, I'd recommend it over the original. It's a great game. Uh, and it's a lot easier to set up as well. Joey says, hey, Adam, big fan of Blood in the Clock Tower. I was curious how the game works in person because it seems like a lot of strategy in the game comes from the breakout rooms. Thanks so much for the endless entertainment. Yeah, a lot of the private chats, you just have to be subtle about it, which adds this extra kind of layer on top of it. Uh, David Jacobus says this is the third time I tried to Nate. Love you guys. Colt, could you tell your story about oh, <laughs> could you tell your story about your punches to Road Warrior Hawk at WrestleMania 13? David, your ultra chat did get to us eventually. It just takes a little bit of time. But thank you so much for donating again. Uh Van Twinblay says, Colt, will you come to Ted Drew's in November after full gear? Ted Drew's. That's what it says. Colt, will you come to Ted Drew's in November after full gear? Yeah, yeah I'll be there. Cool. Uh, Virgin Limoges <laughs> says extra donation just to say CBR pizza and PB and P sandwiches are great. And occasional indulgence of mine. Great game as always. See you in two weeks. Everyone jam that jam, support each other. Beardman Shane says, Hey fellas, really tough day today, but Quiz Mania is hitting the spot. Adam, thanks for NRB. Board gaming has been a game changer for my mental health. Do you have an opinion on the game Spirit Island? Spirit Island is a fantastic game. It sits behind me for a reason. It's beautiful and it's bloody difficult, but I respect it. 
like hell. Really, really well designed game. That Ready Set Max says, "Been a while uh, since I donated my, but my birthday is this Saturday. This is the best way to celebrate and see Temptus out." Fuck SRS. Anyway, Colt, what's your favorite game you've ever uh, you've ever played, as well as any game that you're currently excited for? Is this board games? I think they mean video games. Oh, I'm addicted to Fall Guys. It's all I play. I love it so much. I'm the best hey. at it. I'm the best wrestler at Fall Guys. I challenge everybody. What's the current? Because they did medieval and they did like 80s neon. Have they updated it again? I think they have. Mm -hmm. they? What's what's for spaceships? Uh, yeah, maybe. it's all like there was uh, a lot of snow stuff for a while. I think now it's like really futuristic stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll take that challenge. I'm not let's half bad at Fall Guys. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's, let's do it. it. Uh, and Jothenberg, final super, final ultra chat of the night. Uh, to everyone, but especially Colt, does Jungle Boy have a great hot tag or what? Who has the best hot tag now or ever? Um, only Lorcan's hot tag. I remember at TakeOver during his match, uh, only Lorcan and Danny Birch versus the UE was fantastic. Uh, always got a soft spot for Bubba Ray as a hot tag machine he was really really good uh, anyone else have any kind of like favorite hot tag uh, wrestlers what uh uno and Stu just wrestled who'd they just wrestle on tv uh sky and ethan page yeah. and uh uno had a even i remember jericho in the back being like i didn't know you were such a good baby face he said that to uno um, <laughs> so don't sleep on evil uno's hot tag fantastic uh, I mean, anyone else have one how how can you go wrong with the best hot dag in the business, Nick Jackson of the Young Bucks? Yes, and, very true. Yeah, that's very true. And fair. all all time, gotta go Robert Gibson of uh the Rock and Roll Express. Uh Almanox. Oh, we've had some more options come in. So Almanox says for Colt, what is your favorite most over the top comedic match? Either one of your own or by a fellow wrestler, and why your favorite? Uh well Les Les Kellett is like my hero, obviously. So there's I think I don't know if it's my favorite, but that Les Kellett versus Leon Aris match, it's on YouTube. Uh, it's just genius. It's the ultimate, it's the ultimate like blueprint in what a comedy wrestler should be. And Ooh, what an what an opponent to a comedy wrestler should be, because that's just as much of a science as being a comedy wrestler. Oh, for sure. Uh, and Harrison L says, hey, Adam and Sully, how easy is it to play uh, Blood on the Clock Tower in person? I tried to watch some other people play the game. It just seems really awkward, but maybe that's because I don't like them all as much as you guys. Uh, I'm sure it'd be fantastic to play in person. Mm. I'm looking forward to the, the time when we actually can do that. Because uh, you actually haven't played it in person, have you, Sully? You've just played it no. online. Yeah, yeah, just over over Zoom. So, yeah, this that would be amazing. I can't I can't wait. It's going to be a lot harder. Yeah. Especially uh, yeah. So I'm cutting off the ultra chats there, folks. Uh, and that is the uh, brings us to the end of our show. Pretty much bang on midnight. Uh, I want to thank, obviously, uh, SRS and Denise for taking part. Congratulations going to Tempest. Sully, you've all, you're always a wonder. Um, but huge thanks go to to Cole. You 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 did you did the whole thing. Thank you so much for, yeah. for sticking with us all the way through. I appreciate it. Uh, right behind me is Wrestling Anonymous. That is the podcast. Uh, all I ask is just go wherever you listen to podcasts and just put in subscribe. And even if you don't listen to it, you know, maybe one day you'll catch, you'll be like, oh yeah, I subscribed to this thing. It's downloaded. I'll, I'll check it out. That's all I ask. It's pretty well produced. I spend a lot of time on it uh, and I appreciate it. Also, AEW, please, uh, we're going on the road. So if we're coming to a town near you, specifically St. Louis, where Ted Drew's is, that's a custard shop I have learned. Um, I we will be coming to your town, awtix.com. Uh, if you're not in the UK, but if you're anywhere, uh, there's a bunch of places, there's a bunch of dates. Miami, North, do they announce North Carolina? Uh, that might Ooh, that might have been sure. something I shouldn't have announced, but uh, I think that's coming up. <laughs> well, we got the, got the scoops, folks. Oh, yes, uh, they did. It did announce North Carolina. I knew that, I, I knew they had announced North Carolina, yeah, and yeah. uh, a lot yeah. of places. So, we appreciate you coming out and watching us on TV. Also, just want to say, just literally, boom, subscribe to Wrestling Anonymous Good just man. then. Mm. That's how quickly you can do it. Do so head to the app on your phone and subscribe to Wrestling Anonymous because uh, I, I I can't wait to hear it. Um, Colt is one of the all-time great podcasters of this industry, mm -hmm. uh, and it's such a, a fresh and unique idea. And pretty soon, the entire wrestling industry will be doing just this. And <laughs> back to wrestler versus wrestler. And then it will be come full circle, and you'll be a pioneer once again. 
I can't <laughs> wait to listen to Stone Cold and Chris Jericho take Google Voice uh, and edit them correctly so there's no uhs and ums in the messages. I can't wait. Fantastic. Uh, well, once again, give it up for our guests. Thank you, Colt. Uh, absolute pleasure to talk to you, sir. Um, can't wait to catch the podcast. Going to go listen to that now before I get ready to bed. Mm. And thank you to everyone, to the 3,000 people who stayed up right with us till the end, to the 6,000 people that were watching at some point. We truly appreciate you and everyone who sent in an ultra chat. You're the best. Good night. We'll see you in two weeks' time for the next episode of Quizzle Mania. We'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, the t-shirt.